All right, we are now live according to the program that we're using. Welcome everyone, yay! yay. Um, so this is quite a large stream, so apologies for the fact that our little thumbnails are teeny weeny, uh, but thank you everyone for joining here today. Uh, so uh, just really briefly, like welcome to our third year anniversary voice actor live stream. Uh, the social team at Deaf Sisters has prepared a slideshow of some of our audience's comments and uh, just letters to our favorite characters that we all know. Uh, so uh, just as a reminder, I do need to briefly go into some of our intros. So um, one, please read our chat rules. Uh, they should be in our description, but just going over them really quickly. One, uh, NSFW topics, hate speech and bullying are not permitted. Uh, do not ask uh, the voice actors or me uh, any personal questions. Um, so don't make assumptions about personal details and do not share your own personal information as well. Uh, don't make anyone uncomfortable uh, with topics such as um, asking us out or being rude about their roles or asking them even to say specific lines from the game, like keep the conversation focused on the on the topics. Uh, so keep chat conversations on stream topics. Don't talk about content from projects of voice actors. Voices are not officially confirmed or announced yet. Uh, please keep the chat in English because um, the moderators need to be able to understand you to do their jobs. And any other stream specific roles will be pinned or otherwise mentioned in the mods in our chat. Um, and of course, I need to read this out loud, but Disclaimer, for live stream and game representation purposes, the views and opinions expressed in the media or comments from this stream are those of the speaker and vo or voice actors exclusively. They do not purport to reflect the opinions or views of the developer, Dev Sisters, or any of the subsidiaries. So before you say like, oh my God, like voice actor confirmed canon, uh, no, it's just, you know, we have opinions, we do be having them. So with that being said, welcome to our first panel here. We have many folks coming in. So at around uh, 1.45, we'll be going into intermission to let the second panel of folks come in. But first, I will let our first panel introduce themselves. So you may know them from our series, Last Cookie Standing. Yay! So if you don't, if you haven't heard the good news, uh, we produced a web series on our YouTube channel. There's eight episodes featuring this lovely group of your favorite cookies. Um, it's a reality show based off of kind of Survivor. So with that being said, I'll just go down, hand it to Valeria first to introduce themselves. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I voice Strawberry Crate Cookie. Hi, I'm Jason Marnoka, and I voice Tea Night Cookie. Hi, I'm Kimberly Brooks, and I voice Chili Pepper Cookie. Howdy, you softies. My name is Angelie Connors, and I voice Rye Cookie, and um, I was also the director on the game and the little show, so yay! <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny Chambers. I voice Caramel Arrow Cookie. Hey, what's up? I'm Conrad Haynes, and I voice Affogato Cookie. Hi, I'm Joshua David King, and I just wandered in here. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm also the voice of Cream Unicorn Cookie and also Gelato Trio Cookie. <laughs> I'm Cameron Bowen, and I voice Licorice Cookie. <laughs> So thank you everyone for joining our last cookie standing panel. Um, look at like, it's just so interesting to see y'all as voice actors to your regular voice and the talent that you put into just becoming these characters. Uh, so speaking of our characters, I would love to move to our first uh, voice actor to respond. So this is Amber Lee Connors, Rye Cookie, or our director. Um, here's our stat card. And just curious, Amber, um, how do you think you would have performed personally if you were on a TV show like Survivor? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I've got like little dinosaur arms that have like no strength so like not like strong dinosaur arms i got like little t-rex arms so um i would do horrible um looking at the stats my strength would be like maybe one stamina two maybe my strategy would be like a little higher because like i'm i'm a, a thinker not a fighter <laughs> but um <laughs> maybe i would hope social would be higher than a two but like i don't know but um puzzle solving would probably be lower than that because like i 
am so bad at puzzles and video games like Silent Hill, Resident Evil. It takes me forever. Um, so I don't think I would do well. I would probably have like been the first eliminated. So like Riot did way better than me. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. you know, again, you are not the character, but also, I don't know, you're our fearless leader and I, I kind of see that in you, you know? Oh, thanks, right, Liz. So. I mean, if you need me to go into a cave, like I will, I will take a flashlight. I will go in the cave. If we get trapped in Silent Hill. I got you. But aside from that, like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling the support all the way from here. And I did want to just show some of, uh, some of the <laughs> finest moments of Rye Cookie here. Oh. All right, so here's the first comment. Oh, amazing. Okay. Um, this is from Rye Cookie Nation on Instagram. To Rye Cookie, from the moment I first met you, I knew you would be my favorite. Oh, your voice enchants me and your adventures made me smile from ear to ear. Hope the start and the rest of your 2024 year starts fantastically. Thank you, Rye Cookie Nation, and thank you for being part of my nation. Oh, um, it's so, so sweet. <laughs> I hope your 2024 is also fantastic. Well, it's gotta be like, you know, the fans are wishing it <laughs> manifesting, like it's coming up. Manifesting, I believe. All right, next comment. Ooh, Moonpriestess575 says, to Rye Cookie, you're amazing and my all time favorite bounty hunter. Thank you. You better not have any other bounty hunters. Um, but um, even though you got voted out in LCS, you did an awesome job. Hope you have a good year and best of luck to catching that certain spicy cookie who's right above me. I know this is like intentionally done. I swear, Kimberly. <laughs> I gotta catch you. Um, well, thank you. Um, and Priestess575 on Twitter. Um, I also I want all the luck. Like I feel taunted, Kimberly. Don't run away from me. <laughs> um, one day it's gonna happen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. but super super sweet and um yeah i am i'm honestly surprised that um right cookie made it as far as she did personally oh no alyssa has gone <laughs> all right let's take over what do we want to talk about it's happening it's all happening i'm gonna report everything that happens here back to her so just <laughs> Listen, we we can behave ourselves. I would love to talk about Rye Cookie as well. I know. Because personally, mm -hmm. I am such a fan. I'm a stan. And what oh. I loved in the show is Rye Cookie and Caramel Arrow Cookie. They're so cute. They're such yeah. gal pals. I love them so much. They're so great. How was how was that? How was that recording? How was that? Oh, I mean, just working with all of you is amazing. It was so much fun getting to work on this. Um, but I, I love all the little dynamics. And it was so cool getting to see, like, what everything, because obviously we were recording without any pictures or anything. So getting to see, I was like, this is so cute. The facial expressions mm -hmm. slayed me. Um, so funny. So funny. <laughs> yes. There were so many times where I was like, that's what they did with that line? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> love it. Love so it. Good. Best thing ever. <clears throat> Best thing ever. Well, we're we're all we're all um mm -hmm. host. You know what? I actually have to do my due diligence because I am the host in this show. Yes. So while we're waiting for Alyssa, I would hey. like to pass the mic over to Valeria. How are you doing today? How are you it doing? Good. How did you feel about strawberry crepes uh, elimination? It, from I, I want justice. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, they were like, like, we're bringing you in for this web series. I was like, sick. They're like, you're only in like one episode. One episode, <laughs> and then you're gone. And it's like, it's not even like a fair <laughs> elimination. It was like, you lied. They lied on their application about their age. There was, I think I like exaggerated the truth. Just a little oh, bit. Just, just a little, little bit. Just, just a little bit. You have this line that is so brilliant. I think you're like, um, about repairs and so and so. And I, just for times called for desperate measures. I was like, I hate that. Thank you so much for your service. When you need to like, just make money for all of our roles. <laughs> I study this. I study here. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting a call from Melissa, guys. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh. By the way, didn't I, Licorice personally benefit from? Strawberry being underage and getting kicked off. Wasn't Licorice <laughs> going to get kicked off before that? Yeah, I think everyone absolutely. wrote Licorice's name. Absolutely. I'll take it. Yeah. 
<laughs> they don't want, they don't want the bad guys. No one ever likes the bad guys. I mean, everyone usually likes I, the bad guys. But we're getting kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel that Rocky should have won. I don't know. Oh, I, I was hoping. I was crossing all my fingers. <laughs> Justice for Rocky. Yes. Them all. I'm actually here for Rocky too. <laughs> yeah. He's the winner in our hearts. Where is he now? Do you have a rock, Cameron, to like symbolize oh, Rocky's me. plight? Uh, I don't, but I, <laughs> I, uh, I actually, like when Dang I first it. learned about the whole pet rock. I mean, that's the thing is, is so I'm 35, and like I remember when like you know pet rocks were a were oh a thing. Yes. You know, do you guys remember pet rocks? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. They would send um, you a kit in the mail with like. <laughs> <laughs> food yeah <laughs> wait this is a thing for real i never had yeah, like, like, a little it's container kind of tragically a thing <laughs> <laughs> yes. this is actually a thing that we're talking about so yeah, yeah. i'm back everyone i am yeah. the host for right now i've been told <laughs> by Alyssa, our lovely cookie manager that their power went out <gasps> oh. so oh, no I will be doing because of the wind, because of this, because of the the storm, the storm, the storm. The storm so, is real. It's just like last cookie standing. We'll all be one by one. <laughs> one by one. I am fully eliminated. And my back hurts anyway. So, oh, so, uh, no. <laughs> so I will do my best. I'm going to download the slides and run the rest of it. Keep Good. talking amongst yourselves, and we will be right back up and ready within the next couple minutes. So continue. I love the conversations about the pet rock because <laughs> another part that I think is really amazing is to pass the, the mic back to you, Cameron. Let's talk about the mental space you had to get into to become licorice and show his slow descent into madness on the island. I'd love to hear your, I'd love to hear your process for that. You know, you have the time. story arc, am I, <laughs> no, licorice's story arc, uh, when I, when I first got the role, I feel like, I don't know if anybody could tell if they've been there since the beginning, but like, I was discussing this with Amber recently. Like, I do feel like his relationship with the characters have grown. And we got to see a little bit of that with Cream Unicorn. Um, we did. But we haven't really, right? We haven't really seen like a friendly relationship like he has with Rocky yet, because the relationship that he has with all the other cookies are either disdainful or uh, fanatical. You know. Of course. Um, that was really fun to play because uh, he's just a softie at heart. I mean, he he uh, he wants to be liked. He wants 100%. to be respected. He doesn't get it. And so he went towards the path, the only path that was open to him. But I think yes. it's a different earth, or what did we call it? Earth bread? Earth bread. On a different earth yes. bread. He would, um, he, he would have been a, a, a wizard. You know, he would have been a part of that like, main crew fighting for good. Um, but this is just where he landed. But that doesn't, you know. Right. That doesn't mean that he's not. That doesn't bad. necessarily That's make, you know, the whole it's just it's oh, i think i got the slides guys oh, let's see if it works let's see if it works I thank believe. you so much for your answer cameron i loved <laughs> getting into your mind for that i think it's lovely it's lovely hearing the actors process because i remember watching it and being like this is quite the difference i mean licorice has always been a little wacky but definitely i was like this is different <gasps> now i will see if i can present <gasps> let's see okay but i don't know can i present it <gasps> share screen <gasps> Guys, please, this is my first time. I'm so nervous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, wait. I think I can. Okay. Oh, share. Can everyone see this or no? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it all. Things on the bottom here. There's so many. Okay, so you see them at the bottom, but you can't. The bottom. Yeah. They're not on the screen. It's like, no, like, you know, like, there's like mute, stop cam, present. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so I'm pressing that. And, and then share yeah. screen, right? I think you may have to be like the original That's host what I for thought. it. Yeah. That's what I just oh. told them. So Dude. I guess if you... If well, we could I, just read them. We could read them from yeah, we can yeah. just read our yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so let's... Yeah, let going. me... We love technology. Pull that up. Are we... Um, wait, is there still a... 
it's the there's the it's the link that we got it's the presentation that we got oh um, it's also we, in the private chat yes it is it's right there in the chat okay. thank you danny got it yeah we can just keep on going that way I know. we improvise people <laughs> thank you <laughs> for staying out. with us we're figuring it out we're doing it live you're doing it it's happening <laughs> live I'm still, I'm still loading. I'm having a time. No, it's, it's like, no. it's like too much. It's, <laughs> no. it's a lot. It, it's so overwhelming. True. Oh my God. That's it's so a very right. cloudy, rainy day in California. Just to, you know, fill some of this gap space. We're all doing our best here. Are we all I love that like a, a few drops of rain and then everyone loses their minds. <laughs> Forgets how to exist. How, how to drive. <laughs> yes, how to walk. Drive. Everyone in California forgets how to do everything when it's time for rain. <laughs> yeah. it's true. The sky is crying. California flips out. <sighs> you know what? And it's oh, like, it's I only because that. we don't get that much rain. It's but recently, cool. I don't know. It's been raining mm -hmm. a lot. Am I next on this thing? It looks like I'm after Amber. Amber. Yeah. Amber's got I, one slide yeah. left. Amber's got one more. Oh, she yeah. does. Yes. Amber, do you see it? Oh, there goes Amber. Uh oh, should we do an Amber? <laughs> no. Oh, oh my gosh, this is last cookie standing for real. It is last cookie standing. He's eliminated. I feel oh, like no. I'm in a Saw movie. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Was, uh, or it's like, was that, that one movie, Unfriended, where they're all on Skype? And yes, they're all yes, Danny. Yes, this <laughs> oh, my God, Unfriended. It's Unfriended. Oh, it's yeah, unfriended. yeah, yeah. Guys, wait, there's a knock at my door. Guys, wait. <laughs> okay. If... No, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> so, yes, Cameron, you would be next if you would like to. <laughs> if you dare. Thank you. No, that's a good idea. Thank you. That's a great idea. Yes, show the phone. Wonderful. Cameron. Oh, there you go. So, Cameron. Yes. What yep. would your stats be? Please tell us your stats. You know, how I'm would you? Oh, you wear your shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so licorice cookie's strength is mm. six out of 10. Mm. Do we really believe that? I, I think don't. they gave him, uh, I know. They, <laughs> they him it up. I, honestly, I think mine would be similar to that. I'm not like, uh, I'm more capable than I am strong. Mm. You know, like I can carry heavy things, but not for mm. a long time. Of so. Course. Uh, stamina, I play paddle tennis, pickleball. I'm very okay. fast, very agile. Okay, uh, okay I would say him. pickleball. Uh, his is like his is like five out of ten. I'm gonna give myself eight out of ten. I agree. Uh, strategy, licorice is three out of ten. Uh, I I get it honestly. Um, I own um one of the things that I collect is like board games. I have like uh a ton of board games. I used to play poker like semi-professionally. So I think for strategy, I'm also going to go with myself high ranks. I'll go with seven out of 10. Social, of 10. licorice is one. Uh, mm. Now he did befriend an inanimate object. So that's- <laughs> It makes sense. Tracks. But, but uh, makes sense. my social, I, I think it depends on the day. I, I, I am not social on a global level. I think I- I like to see one person at a time. Um, these sort of things are rare for me. Um, mm. But uh, so I'm going to give myself very low ranks on the social. I think I'm I, I'm a very like social person. But I think if I was trapped in an island with everybody, I'd lose interest very quickly in being a part of the group. Of course, <laughs> of course, so, of course. Uh, real. I'm going to go two out of ten on social. Okay, you and still I, got uh, one on them. You still got one. Yeah. One more. Puzzle solving, three out of ten. It's a similar thing. I love puzzles. I do Wordle every day, uh, but Wordle happens between the hours of midnight and 12.05. Uh, I'm not like a <laughs> let's do puzzles all day type guy. So a four out of 10 on that. I still think I'd be a very nice addition to the team. Um, I so agree. I agree. I agree. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you're thinking of yourself as that because I agree. I agree. I feel like you would be a wonderful addition. <gasps> Is that a cat? Is that a kitten? Oh, oh my, my gosh! My a little baby! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> there you go! So oh my gosh! His name Wonderful. is Haku. I have a tattoo inspired oh. by him on my arm. So cute! Let's, we're getting all the best cameos. It's been off to a chaotic <laughs> start, but what can we say? We got a cat for you guys. So, Cameron, You're welcome. 
Let's yeah. read some of those messages to our beloved okay, Idrish. So here's here's some of the highlights. Oh yes, the I highlights. Think... How could I forget? Can this we just... talk about that bottom left corner with him with the sparkly eyes, looking at such respect, oh, yeah. respect towards yeah. Robin? I think he fell in love. I think he fell in, yeah, in love for the for the first time. I mean, I think like again, his relationship with Rocky is different than anything he's experienced before. So, um, definitely was a was a new experience for him and a lot of fun to play. Of course, of course. Uh, this, um, unfortunately, like, I feel bad for the people who don't get to have their comment on screen because you can't really I see. No, right? yeah, you can't really see it. Oh, but this is from screen? Nikki. Gim gim like make make kill on I'm sorry yeah, on Facebook yes Elky or Nikki um you are so underrated your character is so amazing your voice is amazing and I overall absolutely adore you that is so sweet that's such a great well rounded compliment you're just great well, amazing a personal comment to to Cam um you've been my favorite ever since I started playing. And it's been an absolute honor to have you in my kingdom. Continue to be the sassy king <laughs> that you are. <laughs> All right. I guess I, I guess so. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, also, say hello to Rocky and your old rags are incredible. I love your character and I love you overall. I love you too. I may or may not be dedicating a small area of my kingdom to you. Haha. Ha. Thanks for being Good. such a special character, Idrish Cookie. You deserve more love. Heart, Nikki, a.k.a. Axo Coco. Aw, old rags. <laughs> Wonderful. Was, so much thought was put into that. So much. That's so. You that's know, so sweet. I, I don't think you don't under like. I can't. You know when you have to write a card for somebody and you're like, I love you, but like I can't believe I'm doing this. You know, like when you like a like a, I don't know, like a sibling or something where it's like I see you all the time. You know how much right, I love you. Right. Right. Don't have to write this card. Cards are hard. This was so sweet. You know, the writing gift is something that not everyone is blessed with. But when you find someone don't. who is blessed with it, you appreciate it even more. Yeah. Because that you was really quite that was making. quite the collection of words given to you. I'm so glad you're having this reaction. It's it's also, like, perfect reaction. So honest, you know, like, so completely spot on. I am the best voice actor. And, like, I am, like, just a wonderful person who deserves. So, anyway. Uh, I'm. You so know what? Uh, what yeah. Mm-hmm. Lico Sharpie Can snipper. Twitter. <gasps> so cute. Lico so Can cute. So cute. On Twitter. Uh, dear Licorice Cookie, you're my absolute favorite cookie out of the entire cast, no doubt about it. Your persistence and personality is something I strive to have. Don't let any cookie get you down because you're no old rags cookie. <laughs> drawing made by your, the, this, the drawing that was made by Licko Candy. On Twitter, looks again adorable, 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 adorable. Very cute. The, the Very, return uh, of the old rags. Can we get? Can <laughs> we get that same delivery? Do you think we could get that today? If not, it's cool. I don't want to put you on the spot, but you know, again, this this line keeps coming okay. up. Old rags. Did I cut out? Oh. Are you losing me? Old no. Oh no! Oh. Did I call the old rags? <laughs> Let's go! Thank you so much. You did such a service to the fans. Wonderful. Wonderful. And we'll keep on moving forward. I think forward. my internet's not good enough. No. Please. He's going to be next. He's going to be next. <laughs> okay. No, please. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. So, oh, Zivimations, who is awesome on Twitter and is constantly making cool stuff, cool artwork, made this in the in the oven, I believe. This is like a... Um, what, what were those called? Like Shrinky Dinks? Do you remember those? Yeah. Mm hmm I think that's what this is. Um, and Zivimations said, if Cookie Run aren't going to release Licorice Cookie merch, then I'll have to do it myself. Hey. I made a Licorice Cookie out of FIMO. FIMO? FIMO? One know? of those. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Wait a second. Have Can we spend be. the next 20 minutes? Uh, he has taken me <laughs> four hours to do. I am so happy with this little guy. And it's I amazing. love him too. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, yeah, shout out to Zivimations. They've been uh, constantly tagging me in, in artwork and all kinds of stuff. And you guys know I love that stuff. 
It's amazing because you are the best actor here and you do deserve good things. Well, yeah, yeah, I can you know, I that. you're so. better than all of us. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> the, their favorite cookie out of all the cookies. You know, um, you know, so. it happens. Those are just, that's the way the cookie crumbled. No pun intended. Thank you so much, Cameron Bowen, for your <laughs> wonderful, for all your time. Bruce now we are moving legend. on to our next beloved cookie by the name of Avogado Cookie. And uh, we're going to pass the mic Woo! over to yeah. Conrad. Hey, cool. Background. I, I see a question from the chat, too. It says, uh, hey, Caramel Arrow Cookie, are you still mad at Afogado for lying to you and outsmarting you? Uh, hmm. how, how do we feel about that? Yes. <laughs> Before anyone answers, I would like to, I would just like to make clear that we're all friends. We're all trying to be friends. We're all trying to fill the love between each other. The key and word so, is trying. Trying I, very hard. I'm but, trying to win. So I but you, but you didn't. <laughs> but you, I did let's, it. let's talk I, about okay. how you did it. So, I made a friend. Unicorn. Did I you? made a friend. I made did a friend. You? you did with cream unicorn cookie. You did. Only time with so. Only time with so. Only time nah, with so. Uh, all right. Hey, what's up, y'all? So uh, all right, let me look at these stats real quick. I'm sorry I can't share with you. It says Afogato has no strength, um, <laughs> 100% strategy. He's social. He's good at puzzles. And then about 50% stamina. So I'm, I'm in agreement. Uh, I, I work out. I like to lift weight. Um, Afogato lifts mental weight. Um, and honestly, if there wasn't that group vote at the end, I think he would have won. So I'm just going to say it. Like I feel like he schemed and scanned his way to the top um and lost to friendship which you know it, it's hard it's hard out here for him so and friendship I, worked because friendship, guess what didn't work lying and scheming I but just... i'm still alive so there's well, the results always... were the results <laughs> <laughs> there's wait, always wait. another day <laughs> it is it is it is um, i got some background photos this is like the second slide y'all but mm -hmm. it's just iconic moments from the from the show. <laughs> the little battle between Caramel Arrow and Afogato is still such a good part. So good. so good. Can we talk about the animation? The Pokemon? We can. Yes. Yes. Battles? yes. Oh my gosh, man. Yes. Like, did y'all enjoy point. that? I thought it was yes. so cool. Yes. I thought it was genius. I don't know if I can say that it was that Pokemon. I think it, I think it was inspired by everything. I don't think it, it was. Necessary. Yeah, it was in, it was inspired <laughs> yeah, what, by uh, JRP any collectible combat monster battles. Or, yeah. yeah, I don't what exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Very smart. Nah, but I had so much fun on the show with y'all. You are so talented. So I'm grateful to have worked with all of you. Um except JDK because you beat me. Whoa. But, uh, the rest of you, Whoa. I'm yeah, I'm grateful. Whoa. Oh, okay. hey, All right. Be true to yourself. I'll, be true to yourself. I'll, I'll jump to the quotes. Uh, this one's from Ash the Great, uh, Ashley Bisky. She's an incredible voice actor herself, so check her out. Um, she says, Dear Afogato Cookie, I hope this message finds you well. I'm ready and willing to help you take over the kingdom. What is your new action plan now that you didn't win? Oh, she got jokes. Now that you didn't win last cookie standing. <laughs> Should we use black licorice snakes or toffee tar? Your loyal subject slash fan, Ash. Um, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you'd use a poisonous mushroom. Um, oh. Afogato might also use deceit and manipulation. So those two are probably his, his go-tos for there. Well, we've seen that one before, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Lovely. Uh, the next one is from Blasku. Oh, you guys can't see it. There's this beautiful picture. Um, it's like a note. It's written like a private letter. Okay, I'm definitely gonna share this on my uh, my TikTok. I am my going to you. You after. keep reading. I'm gonna pull up the picture from my phone. Yes. Do it together. Friendship. All right. You got it. Yes. Ah, you're so kind. Okay, so it says, "Dearest Afogato Cookie, seems like a good time to send a message. Happy New Year." Well, Happy New Year to you. I hope it has been well for you so far. Do you have any New Year's goals or resolutions you see to accomplish? Obviously taking over the cookie kingdom. Um, I believe we thrive best when we overcome whatever it is in life happens to throw at us. Whatever life happens to throw at us. Every new year gives us new things to learn and new things to experience. I hope you can make the most of it. 
Best regards, Bloss Q. Oh, that's so like sweet. Um, thank you. Happy New Year's to you as well. Afogata will be ruling the world this year. So I I'm glad we can all come together on that. Uh, and, and we then... will wait for the <laughs> we will wait for the deck to load on my phone, and then I'll show you the amazing artwork that's paired with it. Yeah, thank check you. this out. And then the last one is from Sky Atla. It says, Afogato Cookie, are you going to be friends with Cream Uni? Credit at Slay Atla. Sly Atla. <laughs> and I don't know. Can we be friends, Cream Unicorn? I personally think that we can, but it's going to take a lot of work from you. Because considering that we've been on this live stream for less than 30 minutes and you've already started plotting yet again, I have to trust you. And I don't know if you're showing me that we can really be bookies like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be friends with you so badly. And it's like, I gave you the opportunity to. Yes, he did. Yes, they did. They gave you many opportunities and you still are finding a way to my, destroy my them. My beloved cream I unicorn cookie. I, I would never turn on you. We will but be friends honestly, until the end. That is a lie. That is an episode. absolute lie. The, li Don't the lie me. detector said that that is a lie. Let me pull up the last. You're lucky I can't pull up the last episode because the I was in the, the statue, past. in the statue, uh, whatever that was called. I forgot. You know, I do a lot of these game shows. Whatever that was called, you tried to betray both Caramel Arrow and Cream Unicorn Cookie. Okay, bygones be bygones. There, there's there's one more quote I'll read and then I'll pass off to you, Danny. It says, uh, Dear Affogato Cookie, um, while I wish you the best in your domination plans, finally, a friend, have you thought about taking a different route in it? Oh, okay. For example, yes, your schemes are cunning, but you may be overlooking the power your looks have. I'm looking pretty leads far. Oh, looking pretty leads far. That's my advice. This is from Shinzero Rochi. All right, I love this. I'll have to start thinking about scheming based on aesthetics. All right, and with that, I'll pass it off to Danny. Danny! Hi. Hey. Just real quick. What's up? Can we hear? Can we? Can we just real quick hear what uh, uh, the host sounds like? Maybe like with like a little bit of like vocal fry, like stammering, more, just like <laughs> a, saying uh, but like with a little bit of vocal fry. I just want to hear what that sounds like. Uh, I vocal fry is a little hard. I don't really know. I know it's a little <laughs> up in here. Uh, less so cookie like, uh, is a um, range. He reminds, he reminds me of a of a certain president, and I was oh no, the, uh... <laughs> Danny, <laughs> in, we can't. Danny, thank you so much for taking the mic. Danny Chambers, everybody, the voice of Caramel Arrow Cookie. Hi, everybody. Ooh. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Let me <laughs> You're great. <clears throat> hi, hi. Uh, I'm Caramel Arrow Cookie. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching as well, by the way. It was really cool to kind of interact with other cookies that they don't normally interact with. So it was really fun. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wish Amber was still here. because Oh, yeah. she's So she's stuck in the waiting room, but she can't be let in because Alyssa is the host. So and Alyssa will be back in a couple minutes. Okay, I have guys. heard from them. Whew. Good, 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 good. We're back in business. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really cool that we got to uh, interact with other care other cookies that we didn't get to. So it was really fun. I love doing that and uh, working with Amber to uh, you know see how they would react, how how their personalities would mesh. It was really fun. Um, so yeah, it was really good to work with all of you. Um, okay, uh, her stats. Um, oh god, how many bubbles are in this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it ten? Okay, she has like. It's like a stair step. Nine no, out of not. ten. It, yeah, nine out of ten. She's got nine out of ten strength, eight out of ten stamina, uh, six out of ten strategy, five out of ten social, and four out of uh, ten in puzzle solving. Um, if I could, I would flip it uh, hmm. to where uh, my greatest, like my most proficient, would be puzzle solving because I'd like to play Ace Attorney. I like solving mysteries <gasps> and stuff like that. So, any chance, uh, any chance I get to do that is it's really fun. Um, instead of strength being four, it'd probably be like negative. Uh, I have no upper body strength or strength in general. Um, but uh, stamina, yeah, not very much either. So probably take those down like a lot. Uh, but other than that, that's probably what mine would look like. <laughs> Wonderful. We love it. We, oh, love yeah. it. we have some highlights that I will mm -hmm. do my best to show from this cellular <laughs> device. We have um, 
the moment with Cream Unicorn. Oh, and oh thank you, Kimberly. Yay, Kimberly, Kimberly, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> now you guys can see on both screens. One of Yay. my favorite parts, I will say, is Caramel Arrow on the last episode in that chair. So funny. <laughs> The meme, the Shinji meme, so funny. I saw that and I was like, that is hilarious. The <laughs> other parts as well. You know, Danny, I'm always gonna be biased to our characters interacting with Oh, true. Moments. Yeah, it was moments. really cool that we got to do a, a challenge together. And I was like, oh, uh, you're so cute. I was so excited when Amber told me. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so Right, fun. so great. <laughs> thank you oh, so much, Kimberly, for holding that for us. Yes, thank you. Those are some of my favorite parts. Teamwork, um, they're so great. I this one like the one in the bottom no left though is like I I, I was like I don't remember this part because it looks like she's hugging him and I was like she would never do that yeah that part I don't know that's I don't when they got that shocked was that was the that was the lightning lane one where they oh, I forget right. what exactly down. happened but something they got shocked at the same time I think that's right okay because I was like what is that where did that come from yes. yes. Uh, yeah. I wish they would put the one where it's like she's calculating things around yes. her. That one yes, was really that funny. was so funny <laughs> trying to figure out where 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 Chili Pepper's star was. So funny, so funny. Oh, goodness, Love okay. It. Uh, I'll move on to the next one to, for time because holy crap. Uh, we got uh, from Jewel Pastry on Instagram. They say two Aram. Uh, Aramel Caro, what? Uh, <laughs> Aramel Caro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says two caramel arrow cookie. Once I saw you, I knew you would be my favorite cookie, and you are. I really admire you and your loyalty. I love how you always stayed loyal to uh, the king despite. <gasps> oh! oh, we're back! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, back. And Amber! Yo, we're so back. We're so back. We're so, we're so back. back. We've we've never been so much more back. <laughs> you guys the entire time just we're sitting so, here. We're so uh, back. Amber, welcome back from Limbo. Welcome back. So yes. wonderful to have you back in here. My soul has we, returned. <laughs> we, we brought Amber yeah. back for, for an extra special, oh, look, the anniversary stream's going wrong yet again. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, I heard everything was going all right, which is awesome, but mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry to have interrupted. Uh, Danny, it's your turn. How, how's it going? Yeah, no, just reading the, uh, the first uh, message, um, uh, they said, uh, I love how you always stayed loyal to the king despite being kicked out because of Afogado's manipulation. Yes, I know. I love your personality and the way you are afraid the way you are afraid of insects just like me. Those dark on jelly bees are sort of <laughs> Um I was really happy to know that you were included in Less Cookie Standing and the live now too. <laughs> no words can express how happy that I I was that you were getting recognition. Hoping and looking forward to seeing you in more Cookie Run Kingdom. You will always be my favorite cookie. Sending much love. Hearts from Koha uh, Kohakuto. Thank Kohaku. you. Thank you. And I'm sorry if I butcher names. I'm very bad at those. Um, yes. And, uh, oh, wait. I'm on the wrong page. <gasps> okay. Uh, next one from Yashi-chan. Um, they said, uh, to my favorite cookie, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Caramel Arrow has always been a favorite in Maine since her release and one of my comfort characters too. Same. Um, her bravery and loyalty to Dark Cacao taught me also not to give up and look on the brighter sides of things no matter how hard they get. Caramel, I love you so much. I can't explain the point of life I went through and how much comfort and hope your personality and words brought me. Thank you for being an amazing character, Yashi. Oh, oh thank you for sticking, sticking with it. Oh, that's so nice. You guys got it so sweet. And uh, the last one uh, from uh, Lovely Lou. That's cute. Lovely Lou. Oh, from Twitter. Mm -hmm. They say, Dear Caramel Arrow Cookie, how do you feel from playing Trials from Last Cookie Standing? P.S. I miss your voice so much. I'm glad I was able to hear it again on the series. And you're still my favorite cookie after you got released. Oh, Boba's still great. Uh, brown sugar is my favorite flavor. So before even I got cast as this, this is really fun that, I, <laughs> that, that she loves Boba. And I was like, ah! Me too. Oh. Um, uh, were you able to check out the uh, shared yes. tea cookie run collab? Okay, yes, perfect. I, I did. I stood in line for an hour and a half, and uh, I got um, little pins and stuff. And I was one of the uh, first hundred in line to get uh, to get one of the. Where is it? Oh no, I packed it. It's a it's a French uh, the French vanilla French no uh, pure vanilla <laughs> pure vanilla. Uh, Understandable no. though. <laughs> were you in line like? Do they know who I am? 
No, no, right not at all. I didn't want any attention. I just wanted <laughs> not at all. I just wanted the tea. <laughs> I just wanted the tea. Real. <laughs> but I did meet. Um, there's this couple, this family that was uh standing behind me, and they were so sweet. And uh, this little girl was like, "I like all these." Um, and they were handing out stickers. She's like, "Oh, there's caramel air." I was like, "Yeah, thank you." She's my favorite. She's your favorite. She's like one of them. And so we got to talking. And then like right when we're about to Aww. leave, um. I was with my friend and they're like, should we tell them that you're caramel? I was like, fine, fine, go ahead. And we told them and they were like, oh my God. So we took a picture at the end of it and they were like, thank you so much. I was like, you're so welcome, precious <laughs> child. That's so sweet. <laughs> but it was fun. I really hope they do more stuff like that. That was, it was mm -hmm. a really big turnout and it was, it was really awesome. Shout out Cookie Run Kingdom, y'all. I mean, a con, a cookie con. <gasps> con. One day, one day, cookie con. Alyssa, please. I'm going to email you later. Oh my God. <laughs> Cookie Con Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you for doing Kingdom. that. Just with the yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 The old man. Our Our favorite. favorite. Oh, and man. I think that old man carried that series. This was Can my favorite about it? character it hurt his back. to be yeah. animated. <laughs> <laughs> I loved any time he got to do the handsome anime face. That was. <laughs> oh, speaking of the handsome anime face, let's go to the next slide. Oh, uh, wait, can I change it? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> nope, I can't. It's still on. Okay. It's still on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There yeah. <laughs> I have the power. There we go. Whoa. Yes. There we go. My my back. Hilariously, wow. I'm so method with this character. My back hurts today, so. <laughs> uh -huh. well, that's so I would also thing, lose like, any cookie standing anywhere. So as soon as you hit like past like 20, it's like you sneeze wrong and it's over oh, yeah. for your back. It's done. Like Next. yeah, yeah. Did you have a wee little nap for like maybe 20 minutes and you slept slightly different? Well, enjoy <laughs> the pain forever. Like yeah, no, stop. But um, yeah, anytime he did handsome anime face was just amazing, <laughs> incredible. Ready. Um, and Are you yeah, ready basically, for your... I, I'm ready. I'm, Let's I'm go so sorry, it. I cut you off. No I'm, nonsense, I was trying, nonsense. You know, I was trying to jump you in. You apologize and, like... to no one. Okay. Oh wow. I'm gonna move wow. on to the next one. This is why we love you. This is why we, we love. Did the voice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'll do it in. I'll do it in the voice. Why not? <clears throat> This is from uh, Januar Hadi. I hope I pronounced your name right. To our humble old knight, T Knight Cookie. I really am deeply grateful for you, Sir T Knight, because of your appearance in Cookie Run Kingdom. It became my sole reason for playing this game, and you're my most favorite character in any co in all any Cookie character. You're one strong, honorable old knight. As a medieval enthusiast, your armor is indeed a sight to behold. I really adores it. Stay awesome, tea night cookie. And please do take care of your back. That's good advice. Thank you, my friend. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> I like that everyone's like, please watch your back, man. It's like, yeah, generally good idea anyway. But also, yeah, I was about to say, that's like uh, advice we can all take. Yeah, we can all, yeah. all stand to look after our backs a little better. But uh, Especially because you're going method with it, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. This is from Sketchu. Yeah, this LS might be harder to read. Sketchu on Twitter. <laughs> um, not for my eyes. I wore my glasses today. Uh, last year brought me so much joy in the arena. I could succeed as Grandmaster too many times thanks to your magic candy and always keeping your oath. Staying Slaying the enemy. Nope, you're right. I can't read it. Slaying the enemies I had troubles getting in gotcha was so satisfying all thanks to you. I was so happy for every I'm proud of you, brothers and sisters. I've heard that you and Hollyberry adventured together in Beast Yeast years ago, and I hope you can return there again. And for that occasion, I designed a special Silver Forest uh, inspired costume for you. I wish you all the best this year, too. Sketch you. Well, thank you, Sketch. That's cool. Yes, so please. Cool. Look at that. I love the custom uh, cup that they also yeah, did. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say. Really oh, cool. that's awesome. Anytime he's just standing there all dignified with his eyes shut and a cup of tea. It's just gold. That's One of my awesome. favorite parts from the series is when Cream Unicorn and T Knight are just sitting there and you don't say a word, yes. but you just have these low grumbles. You're like, mm. so. <laughs> That was amazing. Yeah, so we really wrote you as, we really wrote T Knight Cookie as like such a, like, just like 
like kind understanding like boomer grandpa for some reason like <laughs> and like milky way cooking was just teaching you all of this like gen z <laughs> slang for some reason like i don't that know what went awesome. on in our heads but like we were just we're like yeah he should like this character should definitely say i got that thing on me that was, oh yeah we had to insane. when we were recording that with amber i was like i don't know what any of this means <laughs> oh. so once again going method with same it, like, i was ah. like i please explain <laughs> amber like, you oh, too yeah. Oh what? my gosh! You like, too, Amber. This is. <laughs> oh my gosh! We got to get y'all hip. I'm not hip. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, this is from tweeting lamp, 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 lamp. Some tweeting lamp. Um, I will assume that it's it's. A, I apologize if I'm butchering your name. I do not mean to make fun. Um, but I just assumed that I was reading it wrong. Um, dear teen eyed cookie. Hello, Grand General. Greetings. It's been an honor to send you this message. I always liked your character lore-wise and gameplay-wise in the game. Being able to finish your mission despite being the last cookie standing, pun intended, and your unyielding determination never stops for the sake of your fallen allies. As you can see, you are my MVC for 2023 because you are truly awesome. Oh, thank you. Aww. I enjoyed seeing you carrying your team in LCS before you get eliminated. It was an enjoyment to watch. Best regards, Glimmer. Thank you, Glimmer. Yes, it was quite, it's quite a task to carry uh, an entire team on your back, and then you suffer the consequences for it. <sighs> I still am not sure why we voted him off, but hey, it's not a yeah. few. Oh! Ageism. Speaking of the if devil. There's any, <laughs> if there's anything I've learned from watching Survivor, we like someone had to go off with an injury, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, <laughs> make it the old man. You know, <laughs> still sad, still grieving, but um, now we're... This person named Joshua David King, uh, they voiced Cream Unicorn Cookie. That's great. Um, you can't be here today. I'm JDK, as everyone knows. So I'm just going to talk about the stats, the strength. First of all, I like to just start this off a quick little thing. Um, when their promo dropped, everyone's like, first one out. Who's laughing now? Who's <laughs> laughing now? Anyway. That's so right? true, actually. Like, everyone I remember was... seeing so those. So true, best team. I remember seeing those, and I was like, I can't Do they know to watch the last episode. <laughs> so funny. Strength is at two. Um, I feel like I'm a pretty active person. I would put my strength at four or five. Stamina also probably their stamina is a, a six, I think. I think six works for me as well. Again, maybe seven. I've been like really in the gym, like working on like running and like cardio and like getting ready for whatever. And so I feel like my stamina has increased. So maybe I feel like, you know, maybe seven, I, maybe I got one on them. Strategy, um, I don't know what I'm doing half of the time. So I feel like that would probably be around the same or like a one um, because I, again, I just don't, half of the time i don't even know how i end up places um social being 10 makes a lot of sense makes a lot of sense because i feel like if i can't not to toot my own horn but i feel <laughs> like i would also be a 10 at social i really love talking with people and talking with my fellow cookies and amazing actors and so if we are all on this island i feel like i would also be a 10 social puzzle solving um inconclusive evidence maybe like a four maybe a four just like cream uni that's what i'm gonna go with i don't know i hope that hope that suffices but those are my stats based on this card but cream uni did pretty well and at the end of the day stats don't matter because who won the, this is the amazing. real winner is friendship friendship always um i love these so much first of all this picture of of the three of them on the on the on the like merry-go-round is so cute is so adorable and it's so, so cute. It. it's so cute yes. i honestly when i was recording i was so emotional that it was like these three i was like this is like the best final three ever so i <laughs> love it i love the I we wanted the drama we had to we do it for the drama, drama. the intrigue the like what's cream unicorn doing there between these like rivals like what's these the situation rivals to the death um so i love that and then also when they transformed into the unicorn i love the sort of like internet meme circa 2013 i'm not sure if i can call it what it is so internet meme circa 2010s i love the reference there really great um and um yeah um i think we're gonna have to keep, i think we're gonna have to vote this guy off cream unicorn cookie 
man, that really <laughs> sucks. I don't know if I want to do that. I think it's so hard to do this. Um, let's see. So this is from I don't T Q M L E S C H I R O Q K. I I think. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Um, two cream unicorn cookie. Hello. Congratulations on your victory, King Unicorn Cookie. With your views and attitude, you are just always going to win. Really, finding the fun and whimsy of it all is always rewarding when you have the energy. I hope you can invest your prize in a satisfying way. Oh, and how's your friendship with Afogato Cookie going along? Don't let him don't let him rub off too much on you, okay? Kilmaro Cookie, if you can, please do, please do keep an eye out for them. So, oh my gosh, did I leave? Oh, you guys just can't see me anymore. Wonderful. And that works <laughs> because we're really getting into the mode of the character. You shouldn't yeah. see me when I'm speaking. You should just see my character. So I'd like to say to um, TQ, Lechero, right? I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew how to say this name correctly. I thank you so much for the message. I think my friendship with Afogado is going. How would you explain it? How would you explain it, Afogado Cookie? Swimmingly. Swimmingly. I think that's a great word. I think that's a wonderful word. And while I'm figuring out how to um, reconnect my camera, um, Caramel Arrow, if you have anything other th to say on looking out for both of us, that'd be great. Um, uh, yes, always looking out for you. Afogato, just always keep one eye open with that one. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. And you know, we are keeping one eye out. Um, and I'm going to completely just keep reading and I'm going to connect a different camera because that's okay. Dear Cream Unicorn Cookie, I wanted to say that I really love your work on Dream World. Making all those cookies happy is no easy job. That's why I like you so much. Your calm and cheerful voice brings me so much joy. Keeping the person, I mean, the wonderful cookie you are. Lots of love, a fan. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Aleph, Aleph Silva. I really hope I'm saying your name right. I that's this is kind of the one of the biggest things with me. I'm like, I hope I'm saying everyone's name in the correct way. I know a lot of us are saying that, but um specifically <gasps> my camera's off again. Give me two seconds. I got this, guys. I got this. I'm back. I'm back. So thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you so much, Aleph Silva. I'm so happy that uh, you love Cream Unicorn so much. I love Cream Unicorn a lot too. And I'm so glad that you care for them as a cookie. They're amazing. They're great. I love being able to play them and portray them. And yeah, and we have one more. So this one is from Coffee Bloods on Twitter. First of all, I love this reaction picture. It's so me. It's like the, just the energy of it. Like, the, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, Dear Cream Unicorn Cookie, when I saw that you were coming into Cookie Run Kingdom, I started screaming because you were one of my favorite cookies when I started playing Cookie Run. You have an amazing voice actor and you're one of the best non-binding characters in the game. Love you. Thank you so much for loving me. I also agree that I was really excited to come from come from Oven Break because I loved Cookie Land, I loved the Dream World, and I loved being able to meet all the cookies again in Kingdom. So it was great. And thank you so much for the compliments as a fellow non-binding I love being able to portray this character. It meant a lot to me. So thank you so much, Mike or Coffee Bloods on Twitter. I appreciate it so much. And um, yeah, with that being said, I think we're off to the races. And I think it's Kimberly's turn. It's my turn. Oh, gosh. So how do you think you would do as a survivor contestant if you were stranded on a deserted island or deserted island? Ah. Uh... I probably would be, I, I don't like being uncomfortable. So I probably would crumble. No pun intended. I, I, I see what you did there, but. You see what I, I mean, did? I was trying. Um, I think, So not treating it as an island vacation at all. It is, no. <laughs> it is tough. <laughs> I love that. I love, it depends on like, you know, the accommodations, I guess. You know, I'm talking about me myself, right? Um, but I'm looking at these stats here for my character and, and we are talking about comparing ourselves, right? Um, mm -hmm. ah, this is tough. <laughs> I like the stamina thing. Cause I, I too have been playing pickleball just FYI. And mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just nice, saying nice. I'm not that bad at it. Um, and so I do that requires a little bit of stamina. So I think my stamina has built up a little bit. Um, and I'm pretty strong, although I, okay, good. We'd love to see that. I think I got pickleball elbow a little bit. 
Um, is that a thing? I don't know. If it isn't a thing, I'm I'm making it a thing now. Um, and but I'm really good at solving puzzles. That that one I feel like I would be like a 10. I was born the year of the monkey. Very clever animal. Mm, okay. Nimble. We yeah. love to see that. All Nimble, right. Nimble, all of those things. So social. Uh, I'm a very social person, but I can see um, you know. Chili pepper. She's not. She doesn't have time for a social. She's trying. She's trying to get that paper. She's trying to get that coin. At all times. So yeah, I think those. That's one where we're really, really different. <laughs> Although I yeah, that's like, understandable. I like sparkly things. I'm gonna say. Oh, love that. Yeah. I. I mean, you know, being a thief has its different strategies. It being does. A, it being does. A, participant on survivor has its different strategies understandable yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on there <laughs> i have so many cool um things that people were saying about this character that i yeah really let's go check out one of the comments oh well, well, here are some of your finer moments oh, uh yeah. getting, getting scam, doing the scamming like like I, we love to see the duality of man i love it <laughs> I love all of the scheming that's going on. I love when she's being uh, dragged. Try or that's a great picture. I love that. It's very representative. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're going. Are you ready for the questions, Kimberly? I am. Okay, we're moving. Oh, okay. So this is from. Oh wait, let me do it on here because I can think. Okay, thank you. So, um. For Chili Pepper Cookie, I hope you have an amazing year and I hope you get all of the gold you want and keep away <laughs> from certain bounty hunter, um, certain bounty hunter, from Cat Love. Oh my gosh. So Cat the Duck One on Twitter. Thank you so much. Um, I hope so too. <laughs> it, yeah, it's not like we put them in the same voice actor panel at all with you. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is, oh, dear Chili Pepper Cookie, um, you have been my favorite cookie ever since I started playing. I know plenty of cookies don't like you because of your acts of thievery, but just know that I'll always be your number one. Your success in stealing is very admirable, and you just got to look at it right. <laughs> Thank you, at Lesbian Pepper on Twitter. Thank you. I agree. I agree with you 100%. I think you just got to look at it the right way. Because really, you know, she's good at what she does. All right. Again, we do not purport, purport to reflect the views of the company. Uh, thieving is okay if you do it right. Exactly. <laughs> you're going to do it, do it well. That's what I say. Okay. And here, oh, wait, is this for me too? So this is, um, okay, two chili pepper cookie. I really cried when you got kicked out last um, of last cookie standing. I did too. I really did. I did not like that. Um, as a voice actor or as, a, you know, the character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was completely unfair. You were the uh, cook <laughs> the cookie most likely to win. It's true. I hope you could steal even part of the prize. Wink, wink. Okay. I'm going to work on it. Let's see. See how that goes. <laughs> it's always my goal. Thank All you for right. that. Thank you so much. We love our favorite thief. Um, we love seeing her throughout the entire story. Thank you. And I will say some of the crystals have gone missing, so I'm not sure. I don't know anything about it. So maybe it's happened. <laughs> Who knows? It's a theory. Just saying. All right. So on our final voice act of Valeria, how have you? How are you feeling throughout? <laughs> Like like throughout the stream or <laughs> yeah like, like after watching journey. after watching everyone you know compare their own stats like how oh, you feel sure. about yours yeah <laughs> um well shoot I just I don't think I have great real life stats but I'm I'm kind of crafty I think I'd survive out in the jungle or the woods or some I'm kind of stinky so I don't I wouldn't worry about you know <laughs> not being able to shower or anything like that um I'm very like I low maintenance I would hate it. Kind of <laughs> very low minutes. Um, I'll give you my stats. Uh, okay, so I see strength is very high for very strawberry high. crepe. I mean, um, they're a tanky character. They have those little arms. Yeah, I'm, I think it's the robot arms, right? That it has to be. Strong. Yeah, because without the robot arms, it would be like a one. Um, personally, 
I also just started working out, but I have noodle arms. So one day I'll be at a 10. Right now I'm at like a three for strength. Um, terrible stamina. I don't, I don't have any of that. I don't like cardio. I'll never do cardio. Um, strategy I think would be high, probably same with, with strawberry crepe. Social would be a lot higher. Uh, strawberry crepe is very antisocial, but I like, I like to hang out and talk to people. Um, and puzzle solving would be maybe a little lower, but I like escape rooms. So I feel like I could do, I could do pretty well with the puzzle solving. Hey, if you can escape from a room, you can you can live on an island. That's that's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, put that on shirt. That's, that's how this thing goes. Like, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. Exactly. Yeah. That's the equal exchange. And here's some of your fighter moments in this, <laughs> in this series. Um, and a lot of the fighter moments are moments where you're actively getting left out, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I just always have kind of an angry look on my face, except for that mischievous one up top. See, you, you see the robot arm holding back. Right. Love it. Red velvet. Okay. I yeah, love it. just holding hands. <laughs> okay. Let me pull this up on my own so I can read it. Uh, dear Strawberry Crepe Cookie, I love you. You've been my fave cookie since I started the game. I love your design and personality so much that I have you fully maxed and ascended. All hearts and love for you. P.S. Working on Beast Topping. Sincerely, your number one fan. Thank you, Silly Crepe, on Twitter. I appreciate that. The beast toppings are crazy, by the way. I just want to throw that in. Are those new? Because I, I yes. had to yeah. check the game because I was spending too much money. <sighs> yeah, okay. it's new for this update, and okay, it's got it's got a it. big buff. Ooh. Don't, don't get me back into it. Okay. <laughs> um, This next one, can they see? Oh, yes, they can. Okay, cool. Um, That is gorgeous, by the way. I love when they... I would say anthropomorphize, but I guess the cookies already kind of are. But, like, make them more human. Uh, human, I like to see that. Um, from Remikyu014 on Twitter to the sweetest cookie, strawberry crepe cookie. When I first played the game and pulled you, I instantly fell in love with the design. And you are still my favorite cookie in the game ever. I only wish uh, for you all the joy and happiness. Also, I made this banner for you. That's so sweet. Thank you. So cute. I have all the joy and happiness now thanks, thanks to that drawing. <laughs> it's adorable uh dear strawberry crepe you are the sleigh thank you i am i absolutely adore your chaotic nature and your style keep working hard and being a genius pop off gaslight gatekeep p.s <laughs> thank you for carrying my team most of the game thank you just a wild loa um yeah be gay do crimes that's my personal thoughts not the company um yeah i appreciate it thank you i am the sleigh i agree with that you are the sleigh <gasps> all right well thank you so much everyone um thank you uh, and obviously thank you all for being so uh you know good at taking care while i was running in the rain trying to figure out where i could get stable wi-fi um <laughs> Wow. Yeah. We yeah did it. For that. Oh, no. I, I'm pretty sure this happened in the first year anniversary as well. So I'm at this point just like, you know, maybe the anniversary uh, stream isn't for me, but it's for everyone else. So it's a it's yeah, thank you all for joining. Um, so what we're going to do is since we're running a little bit behind, uh, I'm going to just give it a little like uh, if everyone could wait a little like five minutes just to make sure that the second panel of voice actors get in. But everyone, thank you so much. If you guys want to plug your socials just to in case like people want to find y'all if you're doing any signings or something, that would be um, that would be helpful to our audience. Uh, do we I think we can start uh, with uh, Valeria and just kind of snake down. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to do like the little, you know, the other heart. You can do what, also this one. one. You want the, the fingers? How do you? You So you oh, take yeah. the top two, your index fingers, and then you meet them to, I think you're, I forget which one it is. I don't think like, I'm doing it right. My fingers your are really index, long. So. It's like the index oh, yeah, and middle finger. You guys are doing it. You guys are doing it. You guys are doing it. You're so Yeah, yeah you got it. Yes, you got yes. it. Yes, you did it. Yeah. No. Yay. <laughs> you did it. Woo. And but, Jason. Um, okay, so, 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 um. <laughs> Ah, uh, I have such dumb names on all my socials. I can't remember them. I made them when I was like 12. Elvis Badger on Twitter. Uh, I am Valeria Rodriguez Vio on Instagram. I'm Valeria the Wolf on YouTube. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, and, I, and I think that's it. Cool. Thanks. Uh, if, if you wish to have your consciousness intrude upon mine, um, you can find me at uh, just, I recently just reorganized all of my stuff to just the letter J, then Marnoka. 
just Jay Marnoka on all my socials. So I don't have to worry about that anymore because I will forget. <laughs> Ditto. Oh, am I next? I don't know what the order is. Go ahead. Yeah, no, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, so I'm going to do a little signing if anybody wants something right now on my Instagram live. And it's Kimberly Brooks 11. I had to look that up because I'm also don't remember stuff. <laughs> but just, you know, be there or be square, I say. So thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Dan Chambers, um, you can find me everywhere at Skinny Mini 07. That's S K I N I M I N I 07. Perfect. Nice. What's up? Conrad Haynes, uh, on all social. So, yeah, hit me up. I'll respond. Are you put it right oh, there. That's so, so smart. Oh, oh, that's smart. Oh, no, you smart. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't even know how to edit my name. It's too late. You guys know me. It's Joshua David King on everything. Uh, Twitter without an I and David for some reason. The original Joshua David King like took it from me a long time ago. Also, it's James Static. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for having me, Alyssa. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for helping in my moment of need. Yes, thank you. Of thank you so um, much. I can do. I'm Aaron Bowen VO on TikTok. Perfect. <laughs> Is that a- great? Right. Straight to the point. <laughs> I like that. Just the text. Excellent. Um, Amberly Connor was like here, here, here right, yeah, yes, right there. Just um, my name, my full name, no spaces, everything. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. Love- We'll be back in around five minutes. Thank you all to our last cookie standing uh, voice actors. And again, please check out the Streamily shop for Cookie Run Kingdom prints. The proceeds go to Streamily and the voice actors. We do not take a cut at all. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Have a good week. Bye, Cookie. Be well. Love you.
live? Okay, that's interesting. All right, well, if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> add our folks here because I do not want to be alone. Hello, oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Hello. Hello. Just got back. Hi. I'm the only one without my camera on, so now I'll have my camera on. <laughs> no, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, again, if you want to just use your, I like, I love whatever fit you got going on, though. So, like, I feel it's like it's just... rainy, so I need to be cozy. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True. I don't even want to talk about the rain after what it did to my power. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know as, like, a Californian, I should be, like, grateful for the rain, but, like, that was so unchill of it. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, no, it's okay. I think it's totally, everyone is allowed to make fun of me uh, about it, but I'm so glad that, you know, Thank you all for being here. I know we're running a little bit late, so really appreciate it. Um, but I will go ahead and get started. So uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, I am your host again. Uh, thank everyone. Shout out to uh, Joshua David King, voice of Cream Unicorn Cookie, for helping take over in panel one. Uh, but I'm back, and I should be back for the rest of this stream. <laughs> and if I'm not, it's it's just Jover. Just everyone log off. Um, <laughs> like just everyone, just log off. I'll see y'all later. I'm sorry about it. Uh, but uh, but we're here for now, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started by just going down the line here um, on the screen with just uh, intros of who you are and what your character is. Oh oh, is that me? Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, gone. God. Sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> That is off to, off to a good start. Uh, hi guys, so my name is Dawn M. Bennett. I am the voice of both a uh, Linzer cookie and Twizzly gummy cookie. So. Yay, Dawn. <laughs> I think we have a couple of double characters here, actually. So, Ooh, you're also fancy. Christina. Oh, hey everybody, I'm Christina Soft Costello. I am the voice actor of Mozzarella Cookie, who does not sound like my normal voice at all. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> But that's just the magic of voice acting. So that's like, again, the dichotomy between the two in this stream will just be exciting for everyone to see. The range. <laughs> My name is Greg, and I like to sing, and I play Icicle Yeti Cookie. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Oh, it's me! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, hi, I'm Jenny Okabori. I voice Black Lemonade Cookie, and my brain's a little bit spacey, because I keep being like, yay, it's raining, but then my brain's like, you have to focus on other things too, Jenny, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I love to appreciate the rain and also, like, and also just, uh, like, be here as well. Like, I, yeah. again... Uh, again, it's a Sunday, so everyone who showed up, I think it's it's really easy to not show up, so it's really great that you did show up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so hey, Erica. Hi. Oh, it's me, it's me, it's me, hi. Um, hi guys, I'm Erica Mendez. I'm the voice of Black Pearl Cookie and White Lily Cookie, who just came back and I'm so excited. <laughs> Our hero. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Chester Rushing, and I play Mercurial Knight Cookie. Yay. 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 I'm so excited for when Mercurial Knight comes out. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Grace Lou, and I play Shining Glitter Cookie. Yay, Shining Glitter Cookie. Yay. Uh, my idol, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Mackenzie Atwood, and I play Silver Bell Cookie. Woo -hoo! Nice. Oh. <laughs> I love the new update, like fairy aesthetic, so much, and mm -hmm. especially the fact that we made uh, so many like male fairy characters, which I feel like is not super common. Um, again, I grew up on Barbie, uh, like uh, Barbie Fairyland, like Fairytopia, like, yeah, movie. yeah, Fairytopia. <laughs> I, was, I was like, this is yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a good take. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, again. Uh, the way that I have this uh, presentation organized is going by um, like alphabetical order from your first name. So I believe the first person to be up. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so our panel is covering all of our characters from. 
2023, uh, as well as the new update as well. So with that, um, I lied because for some reason, uh, this the presentation is totally out of order. So it's not Woo! basically. <laughs> we love chaos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was the original, this is the original organization, which was actually by update. So in that case, uh, the earliest update we have with our voice actors here is actually with uh, the Summer Soda Festival. So Yay. all of our rocker characters. So with that, actually, um, Grace, you're first on this list. Oh my god. Yay. Yay. <laughs> like I also I just love that like the colors of your headshot matched uh shining glitters <laughs> like fit so well. It was meant to be. I I fear this was written in the stars. <laughs> your music saved my life like i remember <laughs> when shining glitter came out in oven break because i was doing community management for them too and just being like now this is the icon that we needed so i'm so glad that she's <laughs> in cookie run kingdom she girl bossed into our hearts mm -hmm. <laughs> speaking of girl bossing into our hearts here's our first comment oh my gosh Dear Shining Glitter Cookie, I feel very overjoyed when there is an announcement that you are going to be released to Kingdom. Adding to that as a really big surprise, you are- Sorry, I'm like- I'm like, <laughs> right here. <laughs> ah, adding to that as a really big surprise, you are going to release a song as well. And I really love that. Oh, so glad. In fact, this song is also the song that I listened to the most times during the past year. <gasps> oh my gosh. As always, I really love your performance at the Summer Soda Rock Festa. If you are going to perform at another future music festival, I am sure to be at the front row. <gasps> thank you for making my day better. Keep shining. Oh, Flash Apples, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so glad you love my music. I also love Shining Glitter's music. She she went off. <laughs> she's, she's a do-it-all woman. She's got she's going into different genres. She's I'm got different snuggle. looks. No, for real. What a again, she's my icon. <laughs> oh my gosh. From Sting Rai on Twitter. Dear Shining Glitter Cookie, you're my favorite in the whole world. I'm probably your biggest fan, maybe. You are so cool. <laughs> Keep shining, queen. The the maybe the maybe is taking me out. <laughs> just, just in case. <laughs> It's like, you never know, especially with stan culture, like, you never know nowadays, like, are you really the biggest fan? <laughs> just don't, just don't, no, no, no ops come for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your message, Stingray, this is so cute. All right, here's the next one. Shining Glitter Cookie. I love Shining Glitter. She is the best. Nobody is like her for real. She's the ultimate it girl. Music cultural icon. If Shining Glitter was at Coachella, I would go. <laughs> Thank you for also being the craziest damage dealer in my team. Shining Glitter does it all. See, all rounder, do it all, girl. <laughs> apparently, if apparently if uh, headlining Coachella would have revitalized the music industry in its entirety, uh, like we need a world tour, like single handedly. <laughs> Shining glitter, you saved my life. Thank you so much, uh, Alice Alex H on Instagram. This is so cute. Also crazy. I I wasn't aware of how. OP shining glitter was. She she is built different. It's it's also fun to like uh it's also fun like because usually uh, our audience will kind of like speculate like oh if this character comes in like what what type of position they'll be in and, and whatnot. And so her being like a magic like power damage dealer is like like again the power of music just saving lives <laughs> like so true. All right, so I think, here you go, another one. Oh my gosh. To my beautiful and talented singer, Shining Glitter Cookie, I first met you about three years ago, around the time that I played Cookie Run Oven Break. 
You've caught my eye since I first saw you. The way you confidently performed on stage, the way you lived for your dream, touched me very much. <laughs> In Summer Soda Rock Festa, you proved to the audience that as long as we have passion, all our dreams can come true. I'm so grateful to you, Shining Glitter Cookie. I hope you will keep on shining every stage you perform in the future. Oh, from Mina Gyakwan on Facebook. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm so sorry. This is so cute, but so true. Passion, passion takes us everywhere. The music is in our hearts. I love just uh, like, I think the breadth of entertainment industry. And I, I mean, we're about to see it like soon with y'all, but like, of the voice actors who can sing, the voice actors who act on camera, like just really like um, incredible work just being all around entertainers. I really wish we got to record an English version of the song though. That's what I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here all week. <laughs> <laughs> like... I think we were trying to keep it like really like K-pop-ish style. So that's why, but I really wish we got to record mm -hmm. more like in uh, music in English, which we'll see soon because um, someone here did get to record in game for, with actual music. So that was exciting. <laughs> Cookie Run King the musical? When? When? Um, just, when, at, at Cookie when Cookie Con? Con comes, when Cookie <laughs> Con comes around one day. <laughs> All right, so here's your counterpart in that same update. Next up, we have Jenny Yokobori playing Black Lemonade Cookie. And let me just say, I saw some really sweet messages, particularly for Black Lemonade, oh. in a way that I kind of like uh, was a little surprised by just because like, uh, what an underrated character, right? You always want to root for the underdog. She was like an indie rock star. So uh, I'm really excited for you to read some of these. I'm excited too. I also think it's very ironic that I'm dressed more like, spark like sparkling glitter cookie right now. <laughs> <laughs> this was not on purpose, I promise. Okay, I'm so excited. I love my black lemonade cookie girl. Okay. I mean, to be fair, you guys are kind of stands of each other. So we oh, I, think, absolutely. I think it works so out in true. the end. Yeah, Black Lemonade Cookie definitely owns some sparkling glitter like merch. <laughs> okay. Dear Black Lemonade Cookie, I love you and I love your music so much. You're so beautiful and your voice is amazing. I completely understand how you feel about having a hard time with talking. I love you so much. From Kenku Kenkurovi. Kenku Kenkuro Evie, I think. <laughs> On Twitter. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. <laughs> All right, next up. Okay. Okay. To Black Lemonade Cookie, your song Transfigure was amazing. When I first heard it, I couldn't stop playing it. It was on repeat for the whole month of July. No joke. You've honestly become one of my favorite cookies, and I look forward to any new music you release. I'll make sure to be the first person to listen to them. Headphone emoji, lemon emoji, purple heart emoji. Credit Gumball Soda on Instagram. Thank you, Gumball Soda. That's so nice. Thank you. I love Transfigure. I It was honestly on replay for a lot of July for me as well. <laughs> Same thing. I'm like, I want to record an English version of it too. Yeah, like uh, that was a really cool song, particularly because I felt like it was a big departure from all of the like really kind of like uh, cutesy or more high energy songs that mm -hmm. we've put out. So uh, that was a really exciting thing to see, like just kind of us like, drifting into that newer yeah. direction. Uh, and I, again, could not think of someone cooler to play that role because Black Lebe Cookie is just the definition of a cool. Mm -hmm. And the music video is a banger too. <laughs> oh yeah, it was so edgy. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, wow, like we're really, we're really digging deep into that like teenage eggs. It's so now and so I loved it. <laughs> All right, next okay. one. To Black Lemonade Cookie, I am one of your biggest fans. As soon as I heard Transfigure, I was hooked. I couldn't stop listening if I tried. You are one of, if not the best cookie artist I've ever heard. I absolutely love your work. I love your irresistible voice. I love your humility and perseverance. And all in all, I just love you so, so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And one more time, I love you so much. And like, oh, that's so, that's so nice. <laughs> sorry c18 that's so sweet oh yeah like uh, black lemonade cookie i feel like she just has like such a wonderful kind fan base like every single person i've ever like seen online that like is a black lemonade cookie stand is just so sweet and like just they love her so much it just really warms my heart a lot 
Yeah, I think like I think we could all relate to kind of like having like an emotional, um, like kind of like edgy period of our lives and being mm -hmm. able to like artistically express that is like so important to us. Like Lord knows I grew up on like pop punk, you know. Mm -hmm. She's like for also like for a cookie, she's such a little cinnamon roll too, because like she's just sort of like, I'm not me and I just don't know what to say sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like not even like a hard exterior, soft interior situation. It's just like I like it's just kind of hard to express emotions sometimes, and sometimes you need a different medium to do that. Exactly. She just has a lot of feelings, and music is the way she get like like was able to express those. Okay, right, what's the next one? Here you go. Oh, I love this picture. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. They end up like her little story quest in the summer soda rock festa. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Black Lemonade Cookie, loved your performance at Summer Soda Rock Festa. How's life been going? I want you to know they'll always be rooting for you. You're the best. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. With much love, your biggest fan, Ash. And that's from you for Cash on Twitter. That's so nice. Oh. I think, honestly, for Black Lemonade Cookie, I think life's been, like, pretty chill. This is obviously just, like, my own personal little, like, headcanon, but I think she's just kind of, like, been kicking it with, like, basis cookie and just, like, working on new songs, probably. I like to imagine that her little coconut friend hangs out with them, too. I mean, they probably do. They probably got all of those coconut groupies, you know? Oh, absolutely. Listen, I think those coconuts probably know how to party. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. If they, they invented a, a, a whole festival called Soma, Summer Soda of Rock Festa. I feel mm -hmm. like they definitely know how to get down. Absolutely, yeah. Like, do you think Black Lemonade is, like, partying with them or just kind of, like, off to the side, you know, just being a chill rocker? I think Black Lemonade Cookie, I mean, like, like in my heart of hearts, my little headcanon is, like, that she will kind of, she kind of, like, does this. I think she's probably like, the person at the party that's just kind of, like, happy to be in the same room as friends. And so she's just kind of, like, strumming on her guitar, doing her own thing. But she's happy to be around a bunch of people, or coconuts, rather, <laughs> that she enjoys hanging out with. Understandable. I feel like we've all been that person. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you so much, Jenny. I think we're up next, starting to go into the Golden Cheese update. All right. So, Christina, if you want to introduce yourself briefly. Hi, everybody. I'm Christina Costello. I'm the voice of Mozzarella Cookie, and I need glasses. So these are going on now. <laughs> okay. Perfect timing. All right. <laughs> So let's show you your first comment. Cool. Oh, I love this. Okay. To Mozzarella Cookie, you are my favorite ever. Rah! You're so pretty, so smart, so funny, and basically perfect to me. Hard eyes, hard eyes. Every time I see you on my screen, I just can't help but smile and feel my heart warm up. Your voice is so cute and fits your appearance and personality. Tee hee. <laughs> You're my idol and my pookie. I wish I was just like you, for real, for real. No one can surpass you with the way you handle the bugs in your kingdom and placing bets on everything. Thank you for noticing. You're so unique with your long, smooth, and fluffy hair. And the fact you can hold your bell for you makes it even better. And lastly, your outfit is one of the best ones I've ever seen. Thank you, Dev Sisters, for making this cookie real. I love her so, so, so much. Heart, heart. Thank you, Paravico7. I love you too. <laughs> I, when I first saw Mozzarella's design, I was like, oh, that's my girl. Like, <laughs> like there are several characters that I've seen, like just seeing their design first and then like going into the production aspect yeah. behind them where I was just like, oh, she's a baddie. Like she's, she's the it girl. And Mozzarella was yeah. that for me. I love that. And she's such a gremlin. I saw her and I saw the audition and I was like, oh, she seems like really put together. I don't know what to do with this audition. I'm just going to be weird. And then you guys called me. So I guess that worked. <laughs> I mean, because she ended up being weird, right? Like yeah. she's self-serving, <laughs> um, but also a little sneaky. Like she's a lot of mischievous energy. And you said it your best yourself, little gremlin. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's the next comment. Okay. Dear Mozzarella Cookie. I've been your fan since day one, since your shadowly figure was shown, and when you were revealed, it was like a new part of my heart was created, just for you. You are the cookie I love, care and admire for your intellect. Your dearest Savannah, P.S., I heart you. 
credit to ABR Havana on Twitter. This is so cute, and I love the shadowy mozzarella. <laughs> she looks so menacing. I, I mean, and it. it turned out that she was kind of menacing in the end. So yeah, yeah like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but also just like the love of just character design. I mean, like that's just gotcha game in general, right? But yeah. like, I think mozzarella cookie being like having huge hair. Like, I think it was very like, what a what a great design element. Love it. <laughs> All right, your next one. I don't really like mozzarella. I say as I accidentally opened the door to my room and dozens of photos were feeling to be all mozzarella. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a misunderstanding. I say as I try hiding all the mozzarella photos away. My mozzarella plushies then start to fall off. No! I swear! I didn't get these! My mozzarella bed sheets are then exposed. <laughs> Die is a star on Instagram. I love you. <laughs> You're my I idol. We had to include this because this was basically, this was cinema, right? Like, yeah, this was, I feel like, wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> and like a part of me when I first, when I first read this, I was like, what if it was just like actual like cheese? That's exactly what I thought as I was reading this. I was like, this isn't about me, right? <laughs> like, because I definitely have these moments where I, like, I'll get up for my like 2 a.m. like oh, uh, string cheese, cheese, you know? Yes. Yeah, 2 a.m. cheese, like biting into a brick or getting, you know, just the actual like. Biting into um, a like, brick is cheese. crazy. Hey, oh, I've been there too. Working on your night <laughs> cheese, yeah. I, yeah, the night cheese. <laughs> but this is room. So for this person, it's the room cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but then it gets all sweaty. That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh that's she a good sweats, point. Though. Mm. Do you have to, to, okay. Put it back to Wait. plastic. Do they have to I change mean, the oh, mozzarella bed sheets <gasps> every day? <laughs> oh, if they're made of mozzarella. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, it's the it's it adds to the flavor. You know, cheese. Not goes the flavor. Well. Oh, cheese does oh, well no. with the bacteria. <laughs> Doesn't cheese do well with bacteria? I don't like. I'm just. <laughs> As somebody who oh, is like, oh, like no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't no. know. I ruined it. Like, oh, it's now. Maybe I'm exposing too much about my <laughs> Rolling <laughs> around oh, in the oh, bacteria. No blue cheese. cheese. Sorry, I will blue die. So it can't turn into blue cheese. That will be my death. So. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, so, so this comment's actually from me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is, is actually just Alyssa. Personal <laughs> confession. <laughs> This is personal okay. confession, like, um, you know, I'd be waking up with cheese wrappers all around me, like mozzarella <laughs> cookies, uh, like, turn me, turn me into a different type of person, like. <laughs> Listen, I think we've all woken up from cheese comas before, and I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, Enough. again, who doesn't like cheese? Like, I even gotta have my cheese. Never cheese. Stop me. I need to be put yeah. on to cheese, guys. I'm afraid I... Grace, here's the thing. What? You're you're shining glitter. I'm black lemonade. I'm I'm going to show you the world of cheese. <laughs> the world of cheese. We're gonna Open have a charcuterie eyes. party. The <laughs> magical <laughs> world of cheese. Wait, wait, We're gonna have a little Christina, charcuterie are you, party. Are you lactose intolerant, Christina? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> do you, Christina, do you want to know the funny thing too? Is that I'm I have a citrus intolerance, so I can't have black lemonade. <laughs> We suffer. <laughs> like next thing, next thing you know, um, Chester's going to be saying that like ingesting mercury is not okay, no, not good for you. <laughs> I like um, ingesting glitter is not good for you. Like what finding, uh, like eating ice is unhealthy. Um, <laughs> then Erica's going to come out and say that like she's allergic to flowers and pollen. <laughs> like it's just all going to go downhill. Like Erica's it's just, oh, it's just going downhill. Clamshell just apparently you're not supposed to eat white lilies anyway. So yeah. I mean. <laughs> It wouldn't matter if I was allergic or not. I'm pretty sure if you lick that school safe. yeti, your tongue would just get stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think this is the last one for you, Christina. All right. Cool. Dear Mozzarella Cookie, as your biggest fan, I adore your personality. Being one of the most beautiful cookies and the most fun of all the cookies of the Golden Cheese Kingdom, thank you for noticing. I hope this letter reaches you, and may the goddess bless you and forevermore. I love you. Thank you, official CPC 35. 
It's so cute. I love that. And every time my real voice comes back, I'm like, man, I wish I just sounded like mozzarella cookie. <laughs> Hey, I just think, again, it's the duality of man, but also that's just range, right? Like, I feel like, um, especially, like, a, there's, like, two people here who voice multiple cookies, and they I sound, like, very different, you know? So, duality of a man, yeah. I'm sorry. Hi. It's, it's, uh, I mean, EST, I'm tired already. I liked I it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, that was great. All right, I think we're moving on to our winter update now. Greg, uh, who is Icicle Yeti Cookie. Hello. All right, so I'm going to show you your first comment. So actually, uh, I also, so this update was pretty short. Like, I was upset with how short it was, given that it had this, like, long story to it. Um, but uh, Icicle Yeti Cookie also received some very cute and touching uh, comments in a way that I was, like, I'm so glad people were attached to this little scrunkly in the brief period of like focus that, you know, it had. So I'm excited for you to check these out. All right. I'm excited to read them. Dear Icicle Yeti, I want to put it out there that if you feel sad or lonely, always remember that many other cookies around Earthbread would love to be your friend. That includes me too. Through this letter, lots of people would love to be your friend. With kindness, Kirby. Cutie Kirby 40 on Twitter. Oh, and it comes with a picture. I like pictures. Look at you surrounded by friends, finally. Finally! <laughs> and also, I guess. There's 100 cookies in the kingdom, too. You got you got cookies right here in the same, I guess, uh, this, chat box as right you. Right, in this <laughs> chat box. And there's more cookies than you think there are, too, because some of the people are multiple cookies. That, and then also, like, if we include, like, the other games, like, there's so many characters now, I'm losing track. <laughs> so many friends ready to be made! They all get to listen to my singing. Yeah, next one. I think there's more about your singing for sure, but not this one, but... To Icicle Yeti, I want you to know that you are my favorite special class cookie. I'd love to be your friend, and I hope you find many more friends in your adventures ahead! Credit Horrorboros on Twitter. Oh, thank you. I want to be your friend too. Okay, so we're friends now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Yeah, like I still go Yeti Cookie is so wholesome. So, and again, like we love watching wholesome characters win and making friends in the series. So, uh, like this, all, all the comments are so sweet towards Icicle mm -hmm. Yeti. Greg, I just want to say that your voice is like pure serotonin. Oh, it's thanks. so wholesome. <laughs> I yeah, really I, I'm in awe. I love yeah, it. Yeah, when I yeah. tried out for that song, I was like, oh, if I do not book this song, it is going to be stuck in my head forever. <laughs> and then I booked this song, it was still stuck in my head forever, but uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, I have a letter, right. Till Icicle Yeti Cookie, you're the most adorable cookie ever. I love your song and especially your adorable roar! My heart melted during your song because it's so cute. I can just hug you just looking at you. Ignore the haters. You're the cutest cookie with the cutest song and roar. By Emmy Loves Cosplay on Instagram. Are you going to cosplay as Icicle Yeti Cookie? Like, I, uh, hmm. Yeah. I am the cutest cookie with the cutest song and the cutest roar. I wish I had, like, the words to it in Korean and all the languages. I've been listening to it in all the languages, and I usually I can sing in multiple languages. I just need Roman characters with the lyrics in it. Once somebody releases that, it's anyone's game. I would like to point out that this was very bold of you to claim that you have the best song when there are two pop stars in this in this panel with us right now. Well, That's only so because I got ripped off for Summer Soda Rock Festa. If they do it again, I want in on that. I would love Everybody's to see. Everybody's gonna be waking up in the morning and brushing their teeth. I'm gonna be. I'm begging on my hands and knees for a, like Icicle Yeti and Black Lemonade when cookie collab. Yes! All collab. of us collab. The more yeah. the merrier. Like y'all said. Get us in the studio. Mercurial yeah. Night just has a metal song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, heck yeah! Uh, it's so hard. It's like Twas why, why fight when we can all sing together and have a Cookie Run musical. Cookie Run musical. Yeah. Cookie Con. Cookie Con the musical. Cookie Con. Cookie Con the musical. Yes. 
All right, next one. Look, Ma, no auto tune. Two icicle yeti cookie. If you need more friends to have fun with, we'll always be there for you. Plus, I do love your personality and also love your spiky hair. So very unique. By Elemental Boy One on Twitter. I did use a little bit of product. The headphones always uh, flatten that out, but thank you. Thank you. Is the hair made of ice or is it like everything's real hair, made of ice? Like a Yeti. <laughs> okay. No, it is in canon. They chip away at themselves and make a cookie because their real form is this big, spiky, icy Yeti that's just all ice. So the product is actually like a hammer and chisel, like yes, creating the product artwork. Yes, a hammer and chisel. <laughs> That's how I do my hair too. So we could technically give Icicle Yeti Cookie mozzarella cookies hair? Yes, you could. Yes, mozzarella Icicle Yeti could have any hair because they're really just ice. Icicle Yeti or cookie. Or matching. I yeah. love it. Right? I Icicle Yeti Icicle Yeti cookie Ultimate mozzarella letter. <laughs> sing Jingle also, Bells like... right now. Can I sing Jingle Bells? Can you sing one verse of Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's great because I think the last in the last panel, Amber Lee Connors signed off by saying Merry Christmas. So I'm glad we've gone full circle with like uh, starting <laughs> Christmas in February. Did somebody say bells? It is never too early. <laughs> Mario carries defrosting as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Spring is actually not here, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's I also... raining really hard for LA. Oh gosh, yeah. Californians and rain. It's just oh. rain is my enemy right now, so I don't I don't want to throw hands in the, at this moment, but <laughs> um I, I do find it great that Icicle Yeti cookie is basically a sculpture and not like and not like a Yeti when we think of like, you know, Sasquatch. Uh-uh. They are not a real cookie. They are only playing one on television. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is the last one for Greg and Ice Cold Yeti Cookie. So up next, we are going into our holiday mystery train update with Don and Bennett. Uh, but again, Don, you have voiced two characters now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the comments that we mainly compiled were for Linzer Cookie, but we do have one for your other character, just as a little reminder for you. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, let's see. From Olivia Durepos on Facebook. To Twizzly Gummy Cookie, I absolutely love the havoc you create. Thank you. It's quite entertaining, despite how wrong it may seem. Well, listen, that's your own opinion. I think it's perfectly right. You're an amazingly chaotic cookie, and you barely let anything stand in your way. I'd even go as far as saying that you're one of my favorite villains. <laughs> I'll also say continue doing what you do, even if many others would disagree with this. Eh, they don't matter. It's what you do best, isn't it? Also, question, if you're from the future, what's it like in your timeline? Just curious. Thank you, and good luck in the future. Uh, shooting star, shooting star. Well, if, yeah, I am from the future. What's it like in my timeline? Well, imagine the most chaotic, just beautifully chaotic timeline you can think of. Mozzarella Anything everywhere. Happens. Yes, mozzarella bed sheets everywhere, and they're all very, very sweaty. Chaos! So, <laughs> so yeah, it would be that timeline. Absolutely that one. Very, very stinky bed sheets. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> is that the, uh, the, that being the recurring joke for this panel is totally fine by me. We can all make fun of our my our everyone's cheese eating habits. <laughs> oh, listen, listen, I love cheese. You don't understand, but uh, I, I I draw the line at cheese bed cheese. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, <clears throat> Linzer cookie, salutations. When I first saw you come in game, I was beyond excited. Well, thank you. I absolutely love the fact that you write detective novels and how artistic your writing is. And I hope you're able to write more magnificent books in the future. Well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. You see, I, I, I research so much and it's, it's good to know that my novels are so well read. <laughs> and that's from Turnips with a Z on Instagram. 
So question, um, do you actually like mysteries in your free time? Like, have you, like, do you watch like those mystery tr- series or like true crime or anything? Oh gosh, it's, it's weird. I don't know why this happens, but it only happens when I go to conventions where I'll be chill in my hotel room afterwards. And I always turn it on. Like, what is it? Like, what's the channel called? The crime channel, like discovery something like, and it's always showing like, like haunted, haunted places and like true crime and stuff. And it always freaks me out because I'll be, you know, in my hotel room alone. But that's like become a tradition for me to watch true crime in my hotel during cons. So at your most vulnerable state, you're like, how how should I make this experience better? Let's up the anxiety. Let, let's up the adrenaline a little bit. Why not? I'm, I'm feeling lucky. So yeah, always. I don't know why. Okay. Well, I'm glad that, you know, your experiences uh, through that have led you to this role. And I th- I'm seeing in the comments, everyone being like, I can't believe you just, that uh, voice actors doing the voice switch so quickly like that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's great at parties. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Let's see. Uh, this one is from I am Irika on Twitter. Linzer Cookie, not only are you a talented writer, but you're also an amazing investigator during the Holiday Express. May you find inspiration for your next book. P.S. Don't forget to take breaks once in a while, all right? Well, listen, you know, me me finding inspiration for my next book and doing research, like, it doesn't feel like work for me. That That is my break. That is my fun. I love, I I play and I work and I work and I play. It's, it's all the same to me. But thank you very much about the Holiday Express. I'm just glad to know that Old Jolly, also voiced by Don M. Bennett, is still actually alive. <laughs> Wait, you voiced Old Jolly too? I was Old Jolly. I'm alive! Yeah, Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I was so I was so happy during that because I didn't know that I was gonna be playing old Jolly. Like Amber was like, "Can you do an old man voice?" I'm like, I, I, "I'll try it. I guess it's gonna it's gonna be very weird, like an old prospector <laughs> man." And uh, how is it? <laughs> and so yeah. Well, yeah, I should have asked. I should have asked the the rest of the cast if y'all remember voicing any NPCs. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have. Uh, for context, um, for each union session, they get to voice up to three characters total. Mm-hmm. So many of y'all probably did end up voicing NPCs. If you remember them, please let me know because <laughs> oftentimes I'm shocked when I find out like, oh, this completely different character was also voiced by this completely different character. <laughs> I, I'm because so, sometimes you know like um like I don't always remember the names but I I can't forget old Jolly like yeah. as soon as as soon as yeah. um, the Holiday Express event came out I was texting Amber I'm like can I say can I say played old Jolly I love him so much and Amber's like yeah yeah I think it's time let's go uh, so do the rest of y'all ever remember which NPCs you've played? All right, Christina, I see that, uh, Christina and Erica, I see that you guys may have, and Mackenzie, maybe? Yeah, um, I voice a lot of the cheese birds. <laughs> okay, yeah, the that makes sense. Chez instead of cheese, because I thought it would be funny, and then Amber fell in love with Chez, and that was my mistake for everybody who played another cheese bird. And then uh, Party Cookie? We needed her to sound different than mozzarella, so I gave her the thickest Boston accent possible. <laughs> and it was, I really felt like I was in my element because uh, that's the accent when I'm usually coming to the studio, everybody tells me to try to uh, rein in. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So full Steve, yeah. Can we hear it? Can uh, we yeah. Hear it? <laughs> so yeah, it's such an Eric like, uh, oh God. Okay, for my real voice, it's like, Talk the car, that really, but that's how I talk. So for like uh, Genshin, my joke was I wanted Paimon to be Boston Paimon. That was like my April Fool's joke. And I oh wanted my her god! To go, <laughs> <laughs> I <didn't> really wanted. <laughs> it it said no. Too- it was too high pitched. <laughs> it was too powerful. The accent was too powerful. It was too strong. <laughs> too strong. <laughs> wow, that is mean. Yeah, no. So I wanted her to go. Come on. Traveler, please come on. And that's what I wanted more than anything. And they said no. And I can't imagine why that wasn't a good idea. But uh, I was shot down. 
alas, but Party Cookie got to yell, it's a party. And it made me happy. <laughs> I did not know that uh, Boston accents and like party work so well together. I guess Haunted, when I think of East yeah. Coast, I'm more so thinking of like, like, you know, like Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, no, we definitely, I think one of the lines like, oh no, what's going on here? And I literally went, what's going on? For some reason, the Boston accent is imperceivable by the microphone. And it's <laughs> yeah, okay. So I was so wondering. Funny. I was hate? wondering if that was just me. No, it just hates no. Boston specifically. Wow. I think Christina okay. just has really good noise gate on her microphone. Uh, but Boston, I think you're getting too loud, so it's like peeking out. Boston's not a noise. Boston is me. Boston's I, a lifestyle. I <laughs> wish Boston lifestyle. was real. I wish Boston was real. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she'd go, ah, come on, is the party over? Come on, guys. And it was just me yelling all ridiculous things and Amber going, okay, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, this will work <laughs> for sure. All right, sorry about the derail. Uh, we're going to move back to Dawn for your next comment. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? No, you're fine. No, I, we asked the question of, like, NPCs. We'll get to it when we go to each person, I think. Um, I'm not going to say it very loudly because Linzer Cookie doesn't really yell in caps lock. Hey, Linzer, you are such a cool cookie. Oh, thank you. Congrats for solving the case on the train. That sure was a hard one to solve. I believe it was elementary, my dear. But with the help of Krim and us, we did it. Your outfit is so cool. Hope you like the drawing I made for you. Red heart and cookie. Oh, I, I've seen this one, actually. It's re it's really cute. I love this one. Um, thank you so much. Um, IDK, what to F put here. I think it was supposed to say IDK, what to put here, but IDK, what to put on Twitter. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love the art. <laughs> Yeah, every time we include the art, that means like in the comment, they included it in that. So so I, I hope that we're doing IDK what to put, like we're putting, we're doing you justice by showing the entire the entire thing. Oh, I love it. It's it's so cool. It's it's such a cool design. Yeah, she's like classy and but also like a little mysterious. Like I I, I love like the kind of like put together aloof like fancy woman type of character. I just like her hat being the Linzer cookie. Like that's a cool hat. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, it's really cute. I celebrated the, the day that I booked her, I celebrated and I went out and I bought myself a Linzer cookie from, from a nearby cafe. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. When I first heard Linzer cookie, I actually thought it was like the Danish butter cookies, like in the sewing kits. Mm -hmm. And so oh. I was like, oh, gonna make content around that and like my my coworkers had to be like you're so wrong for so many reasons <laughs> there are cookies in those tins yeah i was like wait a minute <laughs> no they're sewing kits <laughs> that's not real <laughs> mm -mm. no they're sewing kits <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah. sometimes come with cookies <laughs> exactly all right so our next person up here is erica mendez uh, i'll have you introduce your characters hello I am Erica, and I voice White Lily Cookie. Is this how you can tell I'm an OG cast member? Because <laughs> they didn't make these for the newer characters. Um, but uh, And then I'm also Black Pearl Cookie. That's a very big flex in front of it the, is. <laughs> the new, like, the, the 2023 characters. Because, <laughs> But I will say, in our defense, I don't think everyone in the original cast got them either, because we I sent them... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we sent them to the recording studio and they were supposed to then send it to everyone. And I think like some of the some folks like weren't able to get it because yeah, then the they studio were like, pick them up moved. and we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's go to your next comment. And again, because um most uh we most of your most of your comments will be about white lily cookie, just because mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm sure you've seen a lot of black pearl stuff already. But <laughs> yeah. you did you did have a big update earlier this year with her as yeah. well. So we, did, we wanted to make sure to get that included mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> okay. To Black Pearl Cookie, ever since we were first introduced to you, I just felt a very surreal feeling. It has been a 
It has been great fighting alongside you throughout my journey from Crispia and beyond. Remember to take it easy and keep calm. Nevi, P.S. Frill Jellyfish really misses you. From mword1305 on Twitter. Thank you. So, I don't know how far you were able to get in the actual story <laughs> itself, but I'm very curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very curious, like, what was the difference that you would do with your voice inflection or like kind of how you approach doing like white pearl cookie versus like black pearl cookie? Oh, I mean, white pearl cookie was actually really hard, uh, surprisingly, even though it was a lot. Um, well, because the thing about black pearl is she's like very dynamic. Um, so she would like, you know, get a little bit higher sometimes, a little bit more like, you know, wavery with some of her words, like kind of more musical rather is the word I should be using. And then she'd get like kind of like deep and like gremlin y kind of when she got like angry and stuff like that. So White Pearl was more just kind of like an even kiltered kind of thing, um, because she's nicer and not crazy. <laughs> but um White Pearl was hard in the sense that like I had no idea White Pearl was a thing until the update. So yeah. I had already played White Lily Cookie. Um and I had to like try to differentiate them because they're uh, not quite the same character, but very similar in like their demeanor. So um, White Pearl was actually difficult for <laughs> me in that sense. Yeah, that's really fair. It's cause like they both have like a soft and gentle style, but again, like, like you killed it. Like uh, White <laughs> Lily Cookie, um, or sorry, White Pearl Cookie's uh, costume <laughs> was so <laughs> popular. With folks i never got it i never got it <laughs> i know i'm so sorry i'm so sorry to bring up that source <laughs> subject and so i got to level 10 and just i paid so much money and never got it it's okay. honestly the whole paid. costume system's kind of hard to get it is a little i'm still trying to get white lily's costume in the current update i spent real money to get white lily in the current update still haven't drawn her <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> I, I've spent real money too, so it's okay. <laughs> and I and I work for the company too, so it's like, oh, like, like this is this is rough. <laughs> it's a rough time out here. Lost a coin to your game devs. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it's a uh, I guess it's just coming back to me. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you for your support of me personally. That's where all of your um like your gotcha pool money is going towards me specifically. Uh, <laughs> My paychecks go right back into the game, so it's like. <laughs> All right, so let's go to your next <laughs> one. I believe we're going to the White Lily section. Okay. To White Lily Cookie, I hope you won't feel alone in pursuing the truth. There are many others out there who wonder the same and want for others. I hope you can share your deepest feeling with someone you trust and never underestimate yourself. I believe in you. Credit Syafic underscore on Instagram. Yeah, some of the usernames. Um, <laughs> I mean, usernames are usernaming. It's fine. But uh, I will say, uh, especially for the more recent update, uh, of course, like, I think it's easier for people to write really long letters to them mm -hmm. because, like, it's the recency obviously, but White Lily Cookie, obviously, be due to, like, the tumultuous backstory, had yeah. so many encouraging letters. Oh, yeah. She deserves it. Must protect. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a complicated character. Like, is she in the right? Is she in the wrong? What does morally gray mean? Yeah. Like, all right. So the next comment is here. Dear White Lily Cookie, Please never blame yourself and look at all the positive things you made. You saved the fairy cookies. You made amazing friends and you never ever had the need to be mean to anyone. So please never blame yourself and always remember your love for cookie kind and the friends you made along your journey. I'll be cheering for you with hope and lots of hugs. Pudding. Credit Mary.mtr shower on instagram all right yeah. meteor shower meteor. Oh. Oh, meteor. oh you're so smart right? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense 
Yeah, I mean, like, it's a, gosh, uh, her character is so interesting with just kind of, like, the backstory, but also, like, are the decisions good? Like, what does it mean? It's it's very, yeah. like, the argument of, like, utilitarianism and She's whatnot. I, tortured. <laughs> well, how does it feel to play, like, a tortured character with such a gentle voice? Like, when I imagine tortured, I imagine, like, someone, like, banging on the walls, like, yeah. like just breaking down constantly, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I, it's it's hard because I like it. It's kind of weird saying you empathize with a cookie, but like I really do. Like she's just so sweet, and like all the cookies in the game because I've been playing the game. Um, I think pretty much since I got cast, so it's been what uh, what's what anniversary? Third year anniversary. <laughs> um, so I've been playing for a long time, um, and all the cookies are just so fleshed out. Like they have such like differing personalities from each other, and. And there's a lot of good cookies. There's a lot of bad cookies. Like you know, uh, like morally wise, and they're just they're just all really, really cool. And I never thought I'd you know have such feelings for cookies um, after all this time that I've been playing. But you know, it's uh, yeah. For White Lily though, it's like I she's probably one of the most tortured characters I think I've ever played um but the the soft voice thing it can be hard because like you know in uh not to give any details in the current update just in case people haven't played it all the way through yet but um she, she gets like louder in parts when she's like a little bit more commanding and that was kind of hard because it's like how do you kind of do that whispery thing and then be commanding to like a big group of people um, it gets a little hard and it gets a little bit out of voice, but I mean, I think kind of in real life, we kind of do that too. If we're like, you know, screaming or crying, our voices get a little higher or a little deeper. So it might not quite sound like us, but you know, we try our best, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is like at the end of the day, right? Like, uh, like art imitates life and the other way yeah. around. And like, yeah, if you're, even if like you have a gentle voice, like screaming is still screaming at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Here's your next comment. Oh, she's so cute. I love her so much. Dear White Lily Cookie, hello. I'm so happy that you're back. You have no idea how much I want to tell you that you're my fave character since Cookie Run Kingdom's first release. Dark and Chandra's Cookie or not, you're still the same cookie I know and love. I promise it'll be okay. Levy. Credit. Leviasia on Twitter. Thank so I believe this is your last comment. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, dark and like I love that this one is written from like the perspective of like if like sorry if y'all were like homies <laughs> like in the game together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I'm not, like so. I'm like awing at the art right now. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, this one a lot of really good uh, White Lily fan art. And again, it's really sweet that whenever people include the fan art um, yeah. on like their comment to the characters. Yeah, I love it so much. Oh, I love this game. It's so cute. <laughs> and also horrifying sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, there's some dark parts. Again, it's like the classic, like, I think everyone, it, it's like a really cutesy game from the outside. And you, if you like actually read the story or like, if, yeah. or have like read the lines, it's like, oh, like, there's some like, kind of dark themes or like, kind of, yeah. it's like, it's surprisingly relatable. And I, I've always really liked that about our game. Yeah, it's, it's really well rounded, I think. I, I try to recommend it to as many people as I can, honestly, if people are looking for like new gacha games, or just mobile games in general. Um, yeah, it's it's a really good game. I think everyone here knows in the chat, so <laughs> obviously they're here, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on into our next character who has been released, uh, Mackenzie Atwood, the voice of Silver Bell Cookie. Yay! Uh, what a precious little, like... What a small bean. I have always, I love I the know. design because it's so on the nose in a sense. Like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a uh, lily of the valley as hair. Like, I can totally get with it. <laughs> the little petals are so cute. Yeah, I love right. him. So here are your comments. All right. Dear Silverbell Cookie, 
Please keep that positivity with you always. Your heart shines as bright as the bells that shine with you when your arrow hits its mark. You're a cookie who I love very much. Also, have you ever seen Mercurial Night Cookie smile? If so, please tell us. <laughs> I feel like the only time Mercurial Night Cookie would smile is if Silver Bell Cookie, like, ran into a tree or something, you know, while they were training. I don't know. <laughs> and maybe he'd get a little bit of a smile slash grimace, but I feel like that's the best you're going to get out of Mercurial Night Cookie. Uh, Chester, have any comment about that? <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> Training with Silver Bell is probably quite an experience for Mercurial <laughs> Night to witness. I'll have to say that. Um, but agile, swift, accurate, and surprisingly deadly, right? So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next comment. To Silver Bell Cookie. You are a knight with a pure heart, and you have very nice fairy wings. Thank you. As if they were made of silver. I really appreciate the way you are with other cookies and how you are willing to protect your kingdom at all costs. Have a nice day, Silver Bell Cookie. Well, thank you. I hope you have a nice day too, Silver Bell, my love, on Instagram. Uh, I I love his wings too. They're, they're so delicate. I liked how we were talking earlier about how uh, it's cool to have like male fairy characters. It's like not something you see a lot of, but it's so sweet. He is just a very soft boy. Like, what can I say? Like literally like small bean energy, um, except um, deadly because he has a bow and arrow and True. That, those are dangerous. Um, <laughs> it is a support bow though. <laughs> That's true. He's here to, to bring healing, but he can, he can, he can get get the job done too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, actually, like, I had to use like stock images for fairies like earlier this week, and I was like, male fairy, and I like literally like stock images like did could not come up with one at all. <laughs> We're breaking new ground here. <laughs> yeah, really, and also like you know, it's still like. I think like classically masculine design while also being like really soft and pretty. Like, I love that. Mm -hmm. Soft masculinity. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. My king. Right. Next slide. Hi, Silver Bell. I hope you'll have a nice and bright day. I'm really happy that I can write to you. I just have one simple question. What is your favorite genre of music? Also, I wanted to say that you are amazing. I hope you'll read this. Credit to Saturn and Stars on Instagram. <laughs> what is his favorite genre of music? Well, we know that the Fairy Kingdom has like months long ragers, apparently, uh, canonically in the lore. They just party and party and, and party. So um, I feel like there's got to be some kind of like, uh, fairy core, hyper pop, uh, doorbell wave, <laughs> like some kind of, some kind of combo of a lot of different genres, something very specific, uh, to the fairy kingdom. Uh, and he probably also listens to rap, I feel. Uh, just that's just something I feel. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, that's I how love I, the diversity. Like, what a, I what know. a crazy. What a crazy he, playlist. Jingle <laughs> Bells. He, he loves Jingle Bells. Anything that can be classified as a carol as well, right? Regardless of genre. If it could be called a carol, probably, yeah. I literally am seeing everyone in the comments say, like, tavern music. And that was my first thought was, like, <laughs> bardcore. Like, uh, like, the kind of, like, medieval covers of, like, pop songs. <laughs> Hardcore. That would be that would be pretty good. Doorwave hyper pop would be so good. I'm <laughs> I'm hearing a collaboration in the works. I mean, you know, we need another uh, summer soda rock festival. Like, Silverbell's got to explore the world. Like, make it happen, folks. Like, drop the playlist then. <laughs> oh, hey. I know a great Maybe song about brushing your teeth. Maybe <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait. The, the collab with uh, Icicle Yeti would kind of go really hard, I feel like. That oh, would be the they most have wholesome. Kind of... Yeah. 
But also, I feel like the voice kind of like play off would play off with each other really well. Yeah, it would be beautiful. Yeah. All right, we're going to the next comment. This is my favorite. Oh my. <laughs> <It's> terrifying. <laughs> All right, dear Silverbell, you're my favorite star. Star emoji, and you're doing an amazing job protecting the Silver Kingdom and my arena team. Smiley face. Credit. Two on Twitter. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna so, be so actually <laughs> Hish is in the chat right now, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hish is in the chat. Uh thank you for being here. Hish. Uh, is this the new bald cookie thing? <laughs> I don't know. I knew I am so here. I was curious if somebody was going to mention it. Yeah, we, we stopped doing the bald cookie edit, but this one I had to include because look at that little neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, here's, I feel like he'd be like, where did you get this picture of me? <laughs> like, in my defense, like, spiky hair was very popular in the fairy kingdom at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was really in back then. <sighs> like, I mean, you don't like have to get into it. I, I'm just more so. I'm like, I'm like, look, do whatever you want with your hair, but sir, your neck. What happened, <laughs> my king? <laughs> like, listen, listen. It was a phase. Okay, it's yeah, all good. Was, going you're so right. Something. He was finding himself. Exactly. He has a you know what? If, if he can't fix it within five seconds, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right. Uh, I think that is it for Silver Bell Cookie. Thank you so awesome. much, Mackenzie. Thank but now you. we have to move to your contemporary. Yes. Hello, hello, everybody in the chat. I uh, I'm in the chat too. Been watching your comments. It's so so special for me to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're you're coming up soon. Like, um, I'm grateful that we were able to get so many comments for you, though. Even though you did have a story part, but your character hasn't been released in game yet. Correct. Uh, but coming soon, which is very exciting, because I would like. Especially with your voice, I would love to hear the fight lines. Like, I feel like it sounds so cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lot cooler than that, I promise. It's <laughs> no, it's um, I didn't even know I could say anything about that. But, um, you know, yeah, being able to play uh, Merc Mercurial Knight, such a fun uh, character for me to embody because, you know, like you're saying soft masculinity like i i i embrace i like cry at animated movies and like every single one of them i you know i literally have my own designated box of tissues because i'm like you're not crying my wife's like ah. but um i i get to you know through my voice play characters i never would get the chance to do on camera so getting to be a part of such an amazing community already i've played the game before i even uh had the audition and um you know uh ava my wife she's been playing for the last three years pretty much straight so i'm like look we can you know sometimes we do spend money to get the ones we really like um all the way uh, also um shout out to uh white lily cookie and silver bell cookie and my friend grace over here <laughs> I, I i love you grace you're so amazing i don't know if anybody love knows you. this but grace and i have our own uh sh series on dreamworks uh yeah. from dreamworks called uh fright crew <laughs> That came out in October. So it's on Hulu and Peacock, which is pretty cool. So you can hear some more of Grace's voice. Which <laughs> and working oh, with so you sweet. on that, Esther, you are the sweetest person alive. And I'm so glad that you get to be here in this game. <laughs> Mercurial night. Everybody gets to know you. I had no idea that you guys were. Um, is that on camera work that you were doing together? It's also no. Yeah, voiceover. Yeah, an animated show oh. for, uh, for DreamWorks. Yeah, so it's uh, it's been amazing to work with Grace uh, again, you know, or be in the in the company of such fantastic actors. I mean, I I'm in awe of all of your voices. It's so spectacular and beautiful. Uh, all of the different you know tones and colors and walks of life that make up our cast and our Cookie Run family. I think that's awesome. I think it's amazing. 
Well, welcome to the Cookie Kingdom. Um, and I just need to respond to someone, some uh, so folks in the chat. But before you say that we leaked our own character, he's on our website. Like he's on available on our website as, as a playable character. Calm down now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's get to the comments and, then. And please do not <laughs> yep. eat mercurial cookies. We, that's not. Yes. That's, don't do it. Yes. Don't. Please do <laughs> not like whether it's the planet or the element. Like, uh, like if you You're see a planet. silver, if you see a silver colored cookie, it's probably dangerous. Like, All right. yeah, yeah. Preface this though. <laughs> you are correct. If there are cookies made on mars in the future those would be mercurial cookies when they or would they be martian cookies i guess they'd be martian. I, yeah i mean it depends like again like um i was uh we made a social post earlier this week where i was had to look up like uh stock images to compare the characters and oh, i was yeah, like for yeah i was like for mercurial night i was like should i just put like a thermometer like or like <laughs> will people get that like is that still a thing <laughs> thermometer <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's thermometer cookie. Anyways, our oh. first comment. All right. To Mercurial Night Cookie. When I first saw you, I immediately knew you were an interesting character. Your devotion to the Silver Tree is admirable. The way you fulfill your duties is amazing. Stay strong and have an amazing year. Hugs, Karma. P.S. The VA did an amazing job. Credit Dragons Valley on Twitter. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. That really does. All right. Your next comment. Dear Mercurial Knight Cookie. Uh, can the judges help me with this word? A Achromatic. Achromatic. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. Dear Mercurial Knight Cookie, your achromatic palette is visually pleasing to those like myself who enjoy a life without color. I hope someday I get the chance to discover your original ingredients. I really wonder what they are. <laughs> A pointless question. Long ago, I cast aside my flavor and scent. Now, only I defend the silver tree. That's my <laughs> one focus. That and lunch when, when the fairy lunch bell rings. <laughs> I love that you just like deflected. You're like, I'm not like, what do you, what do you mean? My flavor? Like we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I, and honestly, um, you know, whenever I was, I was going through the lines and I'm like, wow, to, to really strip yourself of everything that you were to become something for a purpose that's greater than yourself to really i mean when you look at the game like it's really cute but then you get to the storyline you're like wow cookies are crumbling like the walls of kingdoms are shaking at certain different points you know villains are doing their villain thing heroes are trying their best to survive you know we're barely hanging on by our frosting here you know hanging and, and it's 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 real impactful stuff and that question hopefully we get to answer one day what was mercurial knight before he became a silver knight again it, it's an achromatic color palette and an achromatic cookie all right your next comment to mercurial knight cookie i love yoi so much since the first time i saw you in the silver kingdom quest like oh my god i made a whole folder of you in my phone full of you and your screenshots thank you that's so sweet I love you so much. Uh, since the first time I saw you in the Silver Kingdom quest, like, oh my God, I made a whole folder of you on my phone. That's incredible. Really? You really did that? That's incredible. I just want to say this for anybody in the chat. Hi, chat. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for the last two hours. It's been amazing. And if you any if any of you make art of Mercurial Night, please tag myself on Instagram and Cookie Run Kingdom. And I'll share some of my favorite ones. So what you don't have to be an amazing artist. You just have to have a, a love for the game and and just express yourself in some way. And I'd love to see it. Also, please tag Cookie Run Kingdom. That's how yes. I find fan art. <laughs> That's how yes. we find fan art to feature. So if you please don't do tag, tag us. us. We can't see it. Exactly. Exactly. And we want to see your art. 
Cookie Run Kingdom artists built different. Y'all are so talented. It is that is true. Blowing. Yeah. I take like, uh, I my think art. The variety of fan art that I see. Like we have like because like the characters are human like, but they're still cookies. So it's like you either have like the realistic uh, like to the game type looking art versus like Gajinkas where they draw like the human body um, as the character. So I'm very excited to see who, what type of fan art we'll get for Mercurial Night Cookie because I haven't seen too much quite yet. Uh, although I'm pretty sure the next one does have fan oh, art. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Okay, that is so cool. That is like, oh, wow. I mean, I have like moths all over my... my uh, my shirt um like pattern because of the the dark fairy forest type silver forest vibe oh yeah and it's i love giving that. that yeah dear mercurial night cookie i admire your bravery and your sacrifices to protect your kingdom and king although your past is a faded memory now i hope you get to create new memories filled with hope lav bs say hi to silver bell for me hi silver bell how are Hi, you? Mercurial Knight. <laughs> I'm good. Hanging, hanging out in the forest today. I yeah. love the little like Mercurial Knight I sprite that they also drew. It's just waving high and the just ellipses. Like we're not responding. Like, like that's cute and all, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I scary bears to... on Twitter. Yeah. So I think that is all. So thank you everyone for joining. Uh, like this is our second panel. We had a first panel earlier, but uh, incredible. Thank you everyone for being here again. It's not easy to show up and I'm glad everyone did show up. Um, and uh, before we end things, I do want to get, let the voice actors go uh, down the list again to just kind of um, like, where can our viewers find you? Uh, I, I was like tuned into the last stream, so I changed my screen, my, my little display name. Uh, add Don M. Bennett pretty much everywhere Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all those fun places. So, yeah, there it is. You're so smart. I am envious of your intellect right now. I did not do that. And I also almost spelled my name wrong. Anyway, online it's, it's underscore Tina underscore time vo it's tina time that's me hi oh, that's <laughs> uh i guess we'll go snake style so uh greg if you could go next okay cool i am uh yeah i did it backwards this is mirror version so it's that greg says stuff and anywhere that is that's probably me and i don't have an instagram because they don't like that i have a custom domain and don't use gmail that's so impressive, though, that you wrote that backwards. Yeah, that's very impressive. That's yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, I was and like, I made fan art too. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. Wait, I think you tweeted that, right? Yeah, I, I tweeted it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh so wow! Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you're incredible. I can do all the things except sports. You can do I'm all the things. That's okay. Sports. That's mm -hmm. so it's good. okay. It leave the sports to the to the athletes. You got you got. Mm -hmm. Look at all these side gigs I you got going on. I'll be happy if voiceover is a sport. Mm -hmm. Yes, depending it is. on it's how so hard you're going theater. on the day. Music Wait, actually, that's true. Whenever whenever there's like a session where someone has to like scream or like be really aggressive, I'm like, never mind. That is a sport. That's absolutely a sport. <laughs> I it's also definitely like almost do... passed out playing yeah. Quizly. <laughs> when you Battle do line, uh, yeah. definitely live action dubs where you have to be like just hyperventilating the whole time because you're running mm -hmm. and sprinting. It's like I'd like to see Travis Kelsey do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hate me. I'm a Swifty. Okay. I was about, I was about to say, are you gonna? Are, I was about to say, are you gonna set off the Swifties in the chat? No, you I'm a Swifty. Swifty. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm at Jenny Okabori on pretty much all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I'm at Jenny Okabori VO on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Check out Jenny. She does a lot of signings. Um, and again, you can check out everyone's prints on the Streamily Cookie Run store. And emphasizing again, Dev Sisters does not take a cut and the proceeds will be going to Streamily as a platform as well primarily to the voice actors. All right, going to now, Erica. <laughs> it's me, it's my turn, hello. 
Um, I am at Sundarika on most places that I exist on the internet. Um, it's a play on words. If you watch anime, Sundere, Erica, I think I'm funny. I'm not. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I think you're funny. That's you're right. very I'm, funny. Thank, thank you. <laughs> so um, but yeah, that's uh, the, I'm mostly on, I guess, the platform formerly known as Twitter and um, Instagram. And that's, you can kind of find me other places, but those are the main ones. So, yeah. All right, uh, Chester. Okay, um, it's just at Chester Rushing on every platform. And in the chat, I just commented, hey chat, Mercurial Night Cookie here. But it's just uh, Chester Rushing YT. And I try to upload um, shorts like every day um, of the week. And I try to, um, I, I want to put out like different Let's Plays and stuff like the Silent Hill game that just came out. Like I want to, because I love, I love being scared in a fun way. Not <laughs> so. <laughs> so um, yeah, just at Chester Rushing, and just remember, at the end of the day, if I could just say one thing: keep being yourself, and please be kind to yourself. You deserve to be happy. That's it. <laughs> Chester, good, good message. Good message to put out there at the very end there. <laughs> All right, Every Grace? conversation with you, Chester, I'm like, I'm crying at the end of it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, this is so much fun. You can find me at Grace M. Lou on most places. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, it's Grace, and then a, a period, and then M. Lou, because for some reason there are a billion Grace Lou's in the world, and one of them even has my middle name. So, <laughs> but yeah, Grace, Grace M. Lou everywhere, and Thank you guys again. All right, I guess I'm the last one. Uh, I changed my name too. Uh, I'm MK Atwood on everything. Um, they just set me up with the Streamly page too. So we're on there. And I wanted to also say I made Silver Bell fan art too. And the, you can't see it, but. <laughs> Oh, do you have the background filter there thing it on? Is. I think that's what it's happened. Awesome. Uh, yeah. There we go. There you go. All there right, is my king. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna end things off here, but just a reminder to everyone: I will, we will be announcing the giveaway winners associated to this. Um, so, uh, as just a reminder, nine people will be winning three thousand crystals, and one person will be getting the crystals and everyone's signed voice actor print if it is available. Um, so, I will be, we will be posting about that after the stream. Make sure everyone, there are several giveaways going on and contests. So, please, have if you're entering them, please have your D. DMs open because if they are not open, we will automatically have your prize forfeited and we will have to re-choose somebody. So a uh, reminder, we have several giveaways um, and you will be contacted through uh, social platforms. So have those DMs open uh, and follow our social pages at CR Kingdom EN or Cookie Run Kingdom uh, in order to get that news. So with that, uh, thank you everyone for joining and uh, shout out to all of our voice actors. Absolutely incredible. If you didn't see your favorite voice actor here, uh, it's really hard to organize these events. So just know it's not because we're haters. It's just uh, people be busy. There's a lot of us. Yeah, there's so many of them. And, <laughs> and if, you didn't, would go if crazy. you didn't see any of our art, we're probably posting it on our socials. Oh yeah, just, like follow follow the voice actors on their socials. So go support them. And again, thank you to Streamily for helping host everything. Check out the streamily.com Cookie Run Kingdom. Uh, uh, their page will have all of our voice actors prints there. So with that, we will see you at our next live stream. Who knows who, who will be there, but uh, thank you everyone and have a great rest of your weekends. All right. Bye.